So there needs to be a cool intro video. There needs to be a cool intro video here. Okay, I can do that. Hold on. Are you ready for the Zealand stream? Yeah. Was that was that a cool enough intro? That felt No. We said cool oh, oh, so I misunderstood. I misunderstood the expectation. That, that was strange. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Nick, thank you so much for the 36 months. Oh, Suraline, thank you for the 21 months. Sid, thank you so much for the four months. Home FM, thank you for the 29 months. Nert, thank you for the 16 months. Fa, thank you so much for the 14 months. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Nick, congratulations on your Z bacon. Three years gets you Z bacon. You look a bit tired. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I always look that way. It's a, it's, it's a neat little trick I have. I always look tired, but in this case, because I stayed up till 3 AM playing NCAA football, uh, 2014 with my brother, uh, and I woke up at 11. So I actually got eight hours. <clears throat> I actually got eight hours. I got eight hours of sleep. How are you doing? <laughs> No, but I, I'm, I'm, so I'm not tired. I did just wake up. I, that did happen. I did just wake up. But hey, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm at the family abode. It's the holiday season. All right. I'm sleeping in. Lavinio, thank you for the 20 months. <laughs> Costu, thank you so much for the 14 months. So Lavinio's cracking the jokes out here today. You know, uh, Orion's belt, big ways to space, huh? Didn't like that joke. That's okay. It's only got three stars. Yeah, I didn't expect some uh, astronomy humor today, but I, I can work with that. That was a good one. Good luck with your new club. I'm managing your rivals in this year's game. Well, I hope you lose. Tartan Hero, thank you for the nine months. It's baby time, Z. Been away for Christmas. What is the new job? McDonald's. I'm flipping burgers because uh, nobody would hire us after South Africa. It was brutal, uh, but you know we'll we're, we'll build back better. That's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hi, tub streamer. I should, shouldn't I? I should. Is you telling me I should get one of those black sensor lines? This is my moment. Did you guys notice the kit though? I think somebody noticed it almost immediately. Look at that. How awesome is that? A Tampa Bay mutiny kit. A club that went defunct 20 years ago. Scion, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you supporting the stream, my dude. The Tampa Bay mutiny. I actually went to a Tampa Bay mutiny uh, match when I was like six years old. The club has since, long since, folded. One of my dream kids? Yeah, my... Uh, uh, my two brothers got me got me this as a joint Christmas present. Tampa's cringe, yeah. Tampa's fairly cringe. It usually has no idea what it wants to be, but every time that I feel like Tampa doesn't have culture, I come back to Tampa and I'm like, you know, boating shoes they are a culture, right? Large trucks and salt life shirts. This is culture. This this is you know. <laughs> This is culture. How am I, Piggy? I'm doing well. Have I heard of the Birmingham Legion? Oh, they got quarters in the open cup of lost in Miami. Yeah, I've heard of Birmingham Legion. James, so uh, thank you so much for the five months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. I hope you're doing well. Exciting day of the journeyman. Last stream for a week. I know. Last stream of 2023, actually. So I'm glad you guys could be here today. Yep. But we we the, the journeyman has landed at destination number four. In year number four, I, you know, counting the Ghana national team for a little World Cup hiatus. Dodge dra do, 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 do Decagon Cube. It took me a second. Thank you so much for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos money to support the stream, my dude. We've spent a lot of Jeffy B's money the last couple of days. I'll be honest. Enjoy your lack of ads and access to the subsection of the Discord. Where are you going with the fam? Um, 
Narnia. I'm just going to say Narnia. There's nothing crazy. I just, uh, I've, I've been educated on the fact that it's probably not. <laughs> I mean, I, they, we're going to the Caribbean. We we like we live in Florida. The Caribbean is very close. We just hop down, you know. First time watching in a while. Good invested money. Yeah, just like uh, <clears throat> thank you, Goku. I appreciate that. What job did you get? Uh, first time watching. Oh, snack, sa, 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 snack pack. Welcome. I appreciate. It. Are you good Turkish delights in Narnia? They actually. What happened in Narnia? I know that was that's not the point. Where am I going? We're going to the Caribbean. Uh, we're going to go sit on a beach for five days and drink coconut rum. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Love this stream uh, time. It gives me something to do while at work. I got you. What Did I watch any of the games yesterday? No. I hung out with family, and I know what you're thinking. How dare you? How dare you do that? Uh, uh, did I hear the Hugo Lloris news? I did. I saw that on Twitter right before I got on. If you guys haven't heard, you got uh, one of my favorite names to have to attempt to pronounce correctly, uh, is headed to LAFC. Permanent deal. Uh, which means as long as Chiellini is still playing, that team has a really random collection of old former players. What did we do last stream other than sign for Nock Breda? We got rejected from multiple jobs, and at Nock Breda, we have begun the process of quite literally signing an entire team. Chiellini did retire. Okay. The reason I worded it that way was I thought I saw something about that, but I wasn't sure. Although I did enjoy I forgot Chiellini was on LAFC, dude. Completely forgot that he was on LAFC. And then I turned on the MLS Cup final, and they were like, here goes Chiellini. And I'm like, ah, wow. Haven't seen that bald head in a few years. Username I want is missing. Thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate you supporting the stream. <sighs> LAFC is such an EAFC career mode with old talents. See, I wouldn't know, dude. I haven't played EAFC career mode since 2016. I'm going to work it on a decade. Working on a decade. Uh, which clubs have you been to already? Right, so we started, we started the journeyman by, we had no playing experience, no coaching badges. We went to Black Leopards FC in the, the second division of South Africa. That was the job we could get. Uh, we got that job. They were, they'd finished last in the second division the year before. They were projected 12th out of 16. We won the league uh, because we're big ballers. Of course, we... Uh, uh, of course we won the league. I mean, come on. And then we used that and rolled it into uh, our, our burgeoning reputation in South Africa, managing the Orlando Pirates, one of the big teams in South Africa that had just finished fifth and fired their coach and missed out on continental play. We promptly won every cup competition in South Africa, and you'd be surprised there are four. Uh, and then we lost the league by one point our first season. So then we took over the second season, and once again – we won the three major cup competitions. We lost the curtain raiser at the beginning of the season. We then won the African Champions League. Then we won the league. So we won nine trophies in two years with Orlando Pirates. And at that point, we had a three-star reputation, but we only had a Continental Sea license, what we wanted to kind of improve. Uh, and that at that point, we realized it was probably a good opportunity to move. It was probably a good opportunity to move to another club because we, you know, I mean, what else are we going to do at Orlando Pirates? Uh, so we applied to a bunch of jobs. Uh, we took the Ghana job and we managed Ghana at the World Cup, got to the first knockout round, lost in penalties, a brutal loss to Austria. Um, we played pretty well. We gave 94th minute equalizers crazy. Uh, and you know, we applied to a couple of top flight Brazilian jobs, got rejected, uh, carte blanche. We got rejected by FCSB. In uh, uh, we got rejected by FCSB in Romania. Uh, the only club that offered us a job was Nock Breda, who had just been relegated from the era of the Vizy, but it was an upgrade in terms of the amount of money we were able to spend relative to Orlando Pirates. Uh, it was also a club that obviously we wanted to go to a club where we could potentially win hardware immediately. Obviously, a club that just got relegated is 
a great opportunity. Oh, the Boca Juniors, we also applied to that, but we got rejected after an interview, which was heartbreaking. Um, but Knock Breda was an opportunity to win a trophy, right? To win the league, to go back up, to bring a team back into the era of the and uh, an opportunity also coming in in our first year to remake a team, right? You have players that want to leave after you get relegated. We've created a financially secure situation, and then we're going to try and move back up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that's the entire history. Where's Lola Mala bad boy? He doesn't want to join us. We have to, I probably have to get relegated or promoted before that. I'm saying. Oh, uh, do we manage to bring in Maseko or is he not? No, Maseko's good enough. He doesn't want to. Uh, so I think the Orlando Pirates players don't want to leave South Africa unless it's a much better league. And this is not a much better league. This is not, a, th we're not in a much better league that they're like, oh, we got to go this way. What playlist are we on today? I don't remember. Uh, definitely a more pop playlist today. Get your hip pants out. Murderous Otter, thank you so much for the 27 months. <laughs> Freddy Stefan, thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate it. Thank you for doing it with the Twitch Prime, and I appreciate you guys supporting the stream. Fisher, thank you for 33 months. Who won the World Cup? The Gabagool. The Gabagool won the World Cup. Italy. I Italy. Italy won the World Cup. Uh, MLS is like a retirement retreat for footballers. <sighs> it's, a it's actually really, really not. Um, <laughs> MLS clubs are forced by the league rules. Not that they wouldn't turn it into a full-blown retirement league if they could. But they're forced by the league rules to play and develop a lot of young players. Actually, you want you want you like you say copium, but the st the 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 statistics don't lie. It's a very young league that sends a lot of players to Europe. It is a very good developmental league that will sign like on a, like in every season. There's probably about like six washed up European stars. Too bad all those players suck. There's like a legitimate solid wave. They're not just American. I'm not just talking about American players. The MLS is actually signing a lot of talent for the Western Hemisphere and then like then sending it to, to Europe. Yeah, the retirement guys are one-offs. Like, a, you'll have, like, a Chiellini. Even, like, a lot of Wayne Rooney literally just went back to Europe after the... I mean, okay. Ezekiel Barco had so much hype. He'll still get his move. Thomas Magno plays in New York, dude. TJ Buchanan to enter is uh, proof. Tejan. His name's Tejan Buchanan. Tejan Buchanan. Uh, but there's a lot of players that are not just American. So I'm not like trying to hype up like, oh, U.S. Wonder Kids. Blah, blah. You know, like that's not what I'm doing. It's the MLS has a lot of young talent and then moves it to Europe. I mean, even like the, shoot, the guy on Newcastle, the Paraguayan, just randomly. Tejan Buchanan's Canadian. I know Tejan Buchanan's Canadian. I was talking up Tejan Buchanan during the World Cup. I think Tejan Buchanan is he's a very tricky guy. Almiron, thank you. It's true, Zealand, but it's just because of money. Find me. I mean, I don't. I mean, uh, are they are they developing the players and then moving them to Europe for money? I mean, yes. That that's kind of like it's like the point of transfers, I suppose. But is MLS a money grab? Yeah, generally. But I don't like, is the Premier League a money grab? G generally speaking, yes. Um, they're all trying to make money. I missed yesterday's stream, but I'm halfway through the VOD and you accepted the knock contract but not taken over yet. Can you briefly tell me what happened? Uh, we got there. 
We resigned from Orlando Pirates. We got there, and we have signed a lot of players. A lot. Uh, Chalapeno, thank you so much for the 15 months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Every league's a money grab. Like it's a, Yeah, well, it's all for the money, to be fair. And it's like, well, that is true, but it's not like... I don't think... <laughs> The way MLS operates within the U.S. Federation, the way it bullies other U.S. leagues and prevents, like, an actual league system from developing, that's the biggest money grab thing MLS is doing. Developing players and selling them to Europe, that's, like, what most leagues do, right? Most solid leagues are doing that. U.S. Hercules is not trying to make money? See, even that's not true. Like, if you watch my Faroe Islands video and you're like, well, Clocksvik isn't trying to make money, it's like they are. You think they're like, nah, we don't need the $3 million from the Conference League group stage. You can have it, right? Like, they take it. And yeah, they invest it in really wholesome things. Like, let's hire better coaches for the academy. Let's, you know, build this part of the academy. Let's support our handball team. But they're still in it for the money, right? They're not like, oh, dude, we're just here for the fun, right? Like, yeah, business is a business. Clocksfeek's team isn't fully professional. They'd love to be fully professional. And I think USV Hercules, you know, being like, are they in it for the money? No, those guys aren't playing for the money, obviously. They're amateurs. Right? USV Hercules are amateurs. But it's not like they're like, whoa, the money would corrupt us. <laughs> those guys are like, yeah, I want to be a professional player. Or maybe they're you know, maybe they're too old for that to be their ambition and they're just getting one or two more years in. But I don't know the team of USV Hercules. That's the team that beat Ajax. But I would assume if you offered those guys a professional contract because they happen to make a deep run in the cup, they'd be like, yeah, that's sick. If I was running a football team, I would grind YouTube and do hashtag United in reverse. I don't know if YouTube is the best way for a football club to make money, right? You could probably host like five friendlies and make what you would ex you, you could expect like hashtag united to make on youtube in a year i mean not, not like especially if you're you're saying you want to do it in reverse so you're like already a league football team you got a stadium with like you know nine thousand seats in it mr beast united i swear to you he's gonna do something like that at some point He's going to do something like that at some point, I think. He's too... I don't know if Jimmy knows anything about soccer, right? I don't know if he knows anything about soccer, but he is so into the, like, Good Samaritan thing, like, he's actually addicted to it, that why, if he ever watches Welcome to Wrexham, that boy's going to get some ideas, right? Like, he's going to be sitting there like, wow, that community really, in, you know... That was a wholesome, good community story. He was in the charity match. I know. He actually plays a lot of sports. I know that. He hoops. He plays basketball. He played a lot of baseball growing up. Like, he's an athlete, which is fun. Um, and he has been in the Sidemen charity match the last two years. You know who's actually good as Carl? I mean, if you, if you hang around a lot, you know Carl's a friend of the channel. Carl is actually good at soccer. Like, actually. Grew up playing. He's actually good. Carl's actually good. I don't think Mr. Beast is like actually good at soccer, but Carl is as unassuming as he looks. It's one of the Mr. Beast crew. Uh, imagine if he owned a percent of Charlotte. Yeah, I mean, he could just buy the whole thing, right? Like, even if he doesn't have the money sitting in a bank account somewhere, the monetary, like the type of loans Mr. Beast is able to take out, the assets that he has. I'm not, I'm not a financial expert at all, but that dude can generate cash in a way that few people on the planet can generate cash. Get a sonnet center back. Dude, uh, let's uh, tw Twitch 11. Zealand and goal. He doesn't have Tepper money. Somebody offered him a billion dollars like two years ago for all of his channels, and he said no. What do you think they're worth now? Near to be balling out if it wasn't for his knee. Like, I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to brag about my own footballing prowess, okay? I was third team all region as a goalkeeper. And then I took an arrow directly to the face. 
I broke my cheekbone, specifically this cheekbone. You ever seen that Hugo Lloris play where he comes off his line and the guy tries to jump over him and hits him square in the face and it actually knocks him out cold? That happened to me. I broke my cheekbone right here. Blood's coming out of my nose. Got a severe concussion. Had to, like, when I was falling asleep, I had to have somebody wake me up every hour so I didn't slip into a coma. That's the worst part about a concussion is you can never hit rim sleep because you fall asleep and somebody has to wake you up every hour. Of course, the only person that's worse for is the person that's waking you up every hour. <laughs> that actually happened to me. Uh, but the, yeah, if you ever wondered why I looked so handsome, I, I got my face rearranged when I was 18. That's why Zealand didn't get into the Premier League? No, I didn't get into the Premier League because I had zero foot skill whatsoever. I was the classic American goalkeeper that I just liked diving around and getting in the way of the ball and was good at shot stopping. Am I okay? Yes, that was nine years ago. I'm perfectly fine. He was so affected by the concussion that he made. No, but, I, but my point is I still play like men's league soccer in New York. I am a pretty good goalkeeper. I, I am pretty competent. Uh, so it, me, somebody said Hassan at center back. Just <laughs> can we get Manny? He's on Twitch. Manny's just like a good player. Manny streams on Twitch. Like it's side men, not side men, Manny. Any videos of you in action? I think there's some, my, my, so my high school uploaded like a bunch of clips for like college recruiting and they upload like from the season and they just tagged them with the players and they uploaded two clips that I was in and they're the most bland, like me just running out to grab a ball sort of clips. Manny gets insane FM views. I, I he, he's always playing with something called the mandem and now I don't know what that is I know it's a phrase <laughs> so when Simon came to my stopping ground and got some football merch Dude, that Simon charity match is really cool the, the the way they do that every year is like really neat I I I will say I never sit down and watch the whole thing but I will always just be scrolling like Twitter after it happens to just see all the funny moments and they're very funny. They're very, they're, they're, they're good at, uh, Mandem's just like the boys, the lads. See, both of those translate, but where does Mandem come from? Like, where does that come from? Have I watched welcome to Wrexham? I've watched the, I've watched the first season. I've watched the first season. Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Oh, like dim men. And then they flipped it. Okay. I see the Orient. I see, I see the vision. I see the vision. Jamaicans are just always cool, dude. I grew up around some. They're always cool. Like people from Jamaica. They're always cool. It feels like they're living in like 3,000. Always cool. I see what he's doing. I see what they're doing. The whole island. They're just chefing it up. They're like, yo, what is going to be cool in five years? We're going to come up with it right now. How come I have a minus 70 million finance in my club midseason? I didn't, I didn't get any budget to spend. We had 20 mil in the bank. Well, I, uh, that, you know, really depends on what league you're in. But if I'm if you're in like the prim, 70 million is very easily erased because you get like a hundred million in TV money in the summer every year. What you really need to know is you go to the top, go to like right here. And if it says insecure, then you have a problem. If it doesn't, you're all right. If it says insecure, then you have a problem. If it says okay, if it says secure, if it says rich, obviously, then you're fine. You're probably not rich. You're probably not secure, but look up top right there. That beautiful little thing right up there. 
Behemoth, thank you for supporting the stream, my dude. I appreciate the two months, brother. When does the spreadsheet simulator start? I don't know. Sometimes they just sit there talking. Sometimes there's a very interesting football story that we just talk about for an hour and a half, Inglemania. It's kind of up in the air, you know? You can never read the vibes. You can never read the room, right? It's dictated to us by, by fate, right? I'm from the Netherlands, and this would be an awesome club. Well, I mean, it's the club I'm managing, so I, <laughs> I have great news. Up for UVA against the Golden Domers tomorrow? Yeah, UVA is going to run them over, I think. Get ready for you. <laughs> Get ready for some terrible pronunciation. So we have a few transfers being worked on right now. We have a, a few transfers being worked on. What's a UVA? Uh, it's grape in Spanish. Where's Landon Donovan? Uh, coaching staff. So we did a little transfer business. We've made $12 million in player sales. We've had to unload a lot of guys. The guys that didn't want to be here, guys that offered good value, people like Joe Abrigo, who met both of those criteria. Boy Kemper was $3.3 million. Um, and then we, we've gone out and we've been like, all right, we are going to sign free players. We've signed Olivier and Chomp. We've signed Abdul Rahman Garib, the Saudi international, Matias DeWolf, who promptly strained his hamstring and is out for two to four weeks. But we, you know, and, and, and if, if you're looking at him and you're like, did you just sign a Cuban international? The answer is yes, we did. And we're very excited about that. But we have a lot more deals we're working on because we, we've got nice rooms in the finances. You know, we're secure financially. Yeah, we did. We just needed to build a team. I mean, this is with all of our youth teams out, but we don't have a lot of guys. Uh, if we get rid of the unavailable players, we don't have a lot of guys. Um, we really don't. Most of the guys on this bench are youth team players. Mustafa Rashid, Wagamakers, um, Ronald Van de Geest, Thomas Van Zip, um, all those guys, Kai Vandervelt, they're all youth team players. Facundo and Ongba is gone, or are, are gone. Lehman's and Salvareski are gone. So we really, we're building out a bench, and we're making some big signings. Bjorn Ingles, very competent, good ball-playing defender, not very uh, pacey. Then there's Nurio, who's going to be our new left back, which is going to be fantastic. He is a gifted player. Ibrahim Mbai is going to be our new right back, which is also great pickup. Love me some Ibrahim Mbai. Got a lot of talent. Uh, Torben Ryan we're working on. He's a very, very good 23-year-old midfielder that would come in and be a huge impact player for us. We just don't want to pay us $2.8 million release clause. Petros Mantelos, a, an old but supremely technically and mentally talented attacking midfielder uh, who would be very helpful as a rotation player. Daniel Sinani, another player that can go out on the wing. Tons of international experience with Luxembourg. Uh, gives us a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of ability out there. Aliu Federa, who we'd be loaning in, the Gambian international from Werder Bremen, who is also very good and plays a lot of commitment, which we love. Ruben Providence, uh, a, a tricky Haitian winger. Speed, dribbling, crossing, like it. Ahmed Yasser Rian. Uh, we do need a striker. A uh, big issue we have is we don't have a striker chat, and that's something we're going to work on today. We don't think we're going to get Ahmed Yasser Rian. Because they've got offers from Grenin he's got offers from Groningen, Moira Rensha. Uh Darby County probably is putting a lot more money on the table. Leuven's definitely putting more money on the table. Uh there's no shot we're getting Ahmed Riasa Rian. It's probably like a one percent chance. So it's really uh striker and another right back, something we need. And uh, you know, there's Abdul Fiesenmeyer. Oh, he doesn't like big matches. Dang it, Abdul! I, I, we already have enough guys that don't like big matches. We cannot continue to live in that world. And then there is Saudi striker Abdul Radif, who also doesn't like big matches. So we're going to go ahead and dump both those guys in the river. 
Well, then there's Abdullah Al Hamdan, who is, you know, finally somebody that doesn't hate big matches, but boy, is he not good. Oh, gee, Willikers, is he not good. Look how far we've come. We need a striker. We do. I found, oh, where, where was the story, Bergs? I found you randomly when I was looking for a fellow American streaming FM while I was at a remote job. You are awesome, Bergs. Thank you for being a mod for 29 months. Thank you for the prime. Ben, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate you supporting the stream, man. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the email. It said TTS is doubled. Eh, it shouldn't be. All right, next time I hear TTS, I will uh, I will look through the audio while it's playing to see what's going on. Should be an easy fix. My bad, guys. I thought the home setup was already perfect, but I guess it's I guess it's not. Okay, I guess it's not. Do we want a Salvadorian? I mean, the dude's. Oh, he's Finnish and Dutch. Well, that actually changes it uh, because that that opens up the, you know. I don't know. No, no, I, I don't think we need that. Bjorn Ingels. Here's the other guy that could be a right back. Retta L. Meliani. Not good enough. He's not good enough. I'm not going to pretend he's good enough. We're not in the business of developing players at this club. We're in the business of acquiring dubs, boss man. We're in the business of acquiring dubs. Andrea Rizhnatovich. Oh, that's all inverted wingback weirdness. Adams Vigala. No! Patrick Greel. I don't really like these guys. I don't really like these guys. I'm already rocking with Linthorst. We already have Linthorst. He's already on the bench. I think we, we need to be signing people that make us better. Somebody that knocks Burmeester or Rovira to the bench is who we're looking for. And that would be Torben Ryan. We know that would be Torben Ryan, the guy we're looking at. Hello. You just scared the whole... Oh. Mom bots uh, with the breakfast delivery today or the lunch delivery? Mom bot, if you'd like to present today... Hold on. Let me turn the music off. If you'd like to present today's find once the music has been uh, halted. Today, we have a frittata with... Uh, organic chicken maple uh, sausage, onions, spinach, microgreens, walnuts, pecan, uh, pumpkin seeds, and a gluten-free bread with olive oil. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have fun today. Oh, and if I don't see you, because this may be the last this stream, last stream here. from here, yeah. Have a great, happy, happy new year, everybody. See you in 2024. Hi, dog. Uh, Hi, oh, dog. Dogs want it's my food. <laughs> Stay away. One and half Twitch babies. So that's my uh, that's my meal for today. She was absolutely chefing it up when I walked out there this morning. Oh, she knows it's delicious. I complimented her on the frittata when I walked out into the kitchen this morning and I could see the frittata. And I was like, Mom, that's a sick frittata. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Into the great beyond we go. Will Vox from Sheffield Wednesday. He is getting paid. So what are we looking at? These are transfer listed players. Ameka Obioma. Are we, do we have a, yeah, we have a scouting going on. All right. So a little patience is in order. A little patience is in order. Ah, uh, yes. 
Aime Angba, if they want to try and sign him, they can. Andrea Raznatovic is getting an offer. Why is this guy able to study for his coaching qualifications, but you didn't let me do it? This is ridiculous, dude. What is this? Hmm. It appears to be some sort of really compact bread. But like very dense. Puzzling. Let's go in for another look. Very dense. No wasted space in this. It's like it's been flattened. A lesser man might think it's just very stale. But I am no lesser man. It might be just stale bread. <laughs> but that frittata's hitting. Woo! Oh, sweet. Loans. Where you going? I don't know. All right, Teen Trist, we got rid of his wage. Listen to your mother. It's gluten-free. Oh, what did she say? Somebody replay the tape. What's the bread stuff? Now, nah, look. My mom's gluten-free. I've had a ton of... Oh, she put olive oil on it. That's what that is. It's like twice-baked um, gluten-free biscuit with olive oil on it. What am I, a Roman emperor? <laughs> oh, yes, bread with olive oil drizzled on top. Oh, my good lad. I'm so offended they rejected that. How dare you? Minga any good? No. This guy's not bad. Burke Gungor. But that is the guy we were trying to sign previously. And I know I'm not I'm not falling for that. I am gonna fall for fall though. We're just gotten him. So this guy should be free. Yeah, I li I'm liking Hello. this. I'm Did liking this Henry Vaca vibe. Christmas? This dude's definitely better than some of the midfielders we have, right? 100%. Especially in the attacking side, Olivier Chum could drop and then uh, Henry Vaca becomes the main attacking midfielder. I like the way this is looking. Dude, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Brohim, that is totally cool. What is your uh, your Bolivian, like, actually? So we have to pay him at least 460000 a year. Totally cool, dude. I'm super chill with that. This is the midfielder we were looking for. I am not actively ignoring the double TTS. I only hear one, and I didn't uh, think when the TTS was on to uh, go look over the left. So the next person that subs, could you write a long message so that I notice it and I look over to see where the double audio is coming from? Please don't hate me, Edwin. You hate me. I can, I can see it on your face. It's etched in your features how much you hate me. Edwin. Edwin, work with me, Edwin. 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 How long have we known each other, Edwin? Come on, Vodka. Frosher, thank you so much for the 14 months, though. I'm sorry I missed it. Did you watch Home Alone? Home Alone on Home Alone. That's an A minus. It's a loan joke. I just didn't Hello read it until time. now. Audio X, thank you for the 16 months. I looked over. I wasn't fast enough. I looked over and I wasn't fast enough. 
Honestly, I can just do that. Well, you know what I could do is, let's see, we've got alerts. I'll fix it. I didn't even, uh, dude, I don't even need, <laughs> I don't even need it to play. I just fixed the double audio. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Watch. Hello, next die. This is where you say, no, Zealand fixed my marriage. <laughs> There's one guy that comments that under every save your saves just says, now Zealand fixed my marriage. What is the music playing? I don't know. We can switch the playlist if it really. I think it's fine. It's got a good beat. I don't really know. I've never heard this song before. We'll switch to the instant crush list. I always really like the instant crush list. It's a good running playlist, though, that I found. But let's just switch to that instant crush playlist that we like so much. The collective we. Oh, wait a second. Now, wait just a darn tootin' second here. It seems we've started a bit of a seems we've started a bit of a fracas and a scramble for old Brian Salvareski's signature, huh? Let's take that up by another hundred thousand there, group of teams that seem really interested in this dude. What do you say? All oh, right, I was in the middle of this negotiation. Do I actually want to do this? I was looking at it and I'm like, he's not at that good of a passer. He's a pretty good goal threat. Lack of strength and balance. He really struggles to hold his own, you know? You know, like, I, I, I'm, no, I don't know if I'm completely sold on, like, we need this guy. Never, never be alone again. He has adaptability. He's got consistency. Carries the ball well, but I feel like he's easy to bump off it, you know? And then the lack of decision-making is a problem when you're talking about a guy that plays in the number 10 role. <laughs> Too much wage? It is, yeah, he wants a good amount of money. He wants a, a good amount of money. Sadeg Moharami. Guy was uh, that guy's not bad. James Sojay. No, I don't want it to. Okay. I just I was looking for center midfielders. Okay, center midfielders. 
stream, my sub baby water broken Mr. Bezos in the mansion next year where all the servants are not allowed to pee while working came over and helped deliver it, I want to call them Makuti. Can I trial this guy? Please? Durazzo Klaas from the Surinamese national team. Lexi, thank you for the 10 months. Congrats to the sub child. Yeah, I mean, look, all I, all I can say, Lexi, is I'm glad you were able to get one back at Bezos for that by spending the Twitch Prime. You know, is anyone watching Zealand instead of doing the five essays I need to hand in in 40 minutes? Do the essays, dude. Do the essays. I'll be here in 40 minutes. The essays won't be here in 40 minutes. All right. Can you make a YouTube video in the new World Cup edition? I've actually already done that. Uh, there, if, if you go to the channel and just type in World Cup on the channel, you will uh, you will find your options. So Henry Vaca, not sold. All right, we're not going to do the Henry Vaca transfer. Not sold. No. No vodka deal. We need to we need to up our scouting speed, but we don't have it. We we don't have any more scouts. Just how many teams are gonna offer for that guy before he just leaves? I'm open to selling him. You know, my backup left back. I'm absolutely open to selling for the right price, but somebody's gonna have to show up with the right price. Come on, oh, dude. What am I doing? I don't have a striker. I'm over here like, gee, what piece could I add to my midfield? You know, what piece could I add to my midfield? I have, I don't have, we don't have a striker. Ameka Obioma hates big matches. Brilliant. Brichero. No idea, but he, he certainly doesn't look like the type of forward that's going to lead a line or be a pressing forward, which is a type that we would prefer. Maybe somebody on the loan list that we're aware of. Micah Peters. Honestly, he's probably better than uh, anybody we have. That guy is fast. Well, he might not be incredibly fast, but he's fast. He can finish. It's short, though. He's not short. He just has bad jumping reach, which is even more offensive. Okay. You're just bad. And then there's Ahmed Yasser, Rian, Yona Asabuti. Come on. Dominic Breda. The filter. <laughs> Elliot, thank you for the 30 months, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon and the emotes. <sighs> Larry Coyote, he's not a striker, though. He's a winger. He's a, he's a winger gaslighting us into believing he's a striker. This guy's not. Why can there not just be a free striker? Like, why... Why can there not just be a free striker that we like? Why is, why is that so hard? There's no striker that we like at all. Like, there isn't even a target where I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy. And we can't go get Ilya Shkurin because he already signed a deal with Zenit. Like, he left at the end of the year. All right, dudes. Definitely not good. Ricardo Marquez. Oh, well, yeah, he's 500,000 to 5 million. I'm, I'm on it. I'm really on to something. Wow, look at me. I figured out he was good. I'm unstoppable. I'd literally take Lorenzo shy right now. Ikram Rainers, he's at Gustepe, so he's worth 
nowhere near what they're swinging around. Well, I just don't even know about any strikers on the planet. How, how, how do I not even know about strikers that exist anywhere? I'm unaware, uh, I'm seemingly unaware of any good strikers. You have Abdullah Alhamdan, who's not good. I know about nobody. You know what happens when you're desperate? Genius. You ready? Genius happens when you're desperate. Hmm. Dude, with the finishing, absolutely killer. Suleiman Abdullahi. Oh, the strength too. This guy is, this guy's a physical dynamite. Suleiman Abdullahi. This is what desperation looks like, Chet. All right, customize the view. Where's reputation? Do I listen to MGMT? Yeah, I mean, uh, they pop up on my playlists all the time. Did I see the mascot from the pop? The, the mascot from the Pop Tarts bowl. <laughs> That dude went viral. That was the best marketing campaign ever from Pop-Tart. Big Pop-Tart is taking over. It's all about Big Pop-Tart. Now they So for those that don't know, and that would be most of you, in the United States, there is something called bowl games. Now, bowl games seem stupid. Now, they are. They are stupid. Uh, but they're also fun. Because what happens is at the end of a season in American football, in college American football, there is basically, there's a bunch of teams that have winning records. And if you have a winning record, which means you, you, know, you won more games than you lost, and a few teams that maybe won and lost the same number of games, you go into a bunch of bowl games. These are kind of end of season games where you get matched up against another team that you wouldn't normally play. It's the equivalent of finishing ninth in the prim and then playing the tenth, you know, playing the second place team from the Swiss League, right? Like it's you, you, you go play teams you wouldn't normally play. It's an event. The Bulls are all over the country. There's one in the Bahamas, right? Which obviously isn't even in the U.S. Um, they're all over the place. Usually in warm areas. Usually. Uh, to be like a vacation destination for the fans of the team at the end of the season. It's a fun event for the players to celebrate a year where they were successful. Uh, there are big ones like the Rose Bowl, which happens in L.A. every year, which is two of the best teams. Uh, and bowl games, are they're fun. They're usually wild games. Like some people sit them out because they're going to play in the NFL. Like it's, it's just a weird time. And one of the bowl, like the Bulls have sponsors. So there's always like, really stupid sponsors. There's like the Duke mayonnaise bowl, you know, like one of them is the pop tarts bowl, right? There is a bowl called the pop tarts bowl. Now the pop tarts bowl, all I have to do is go over here and type in pop tart. Boom. I messed up. Now, 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 now it's broken. Once again, brilliant app been designed here. So the pop tart, this is the Pop-Tart mascot. They had a Pop-Tart, a dude wearing a Pop-Tart mascot, running around the field. And at the end of that, this is the video of it. The winning team got to eat him. This is like the most American thing ever. So the team that wins the Pop-Tart Bowl, this is our, our dude, the Pop-Tart. And he goes into the toaster. Then like the winning team is standing here waiting outside of the toaster 
and the pop, the pop tart goes into the toaster. But you just have to wait a second. Wait a second. Give it a give it a minute. Boom. Now that is uh, that is edible. And if you watch the video long enough, the whole team will come out and grab a piece of the Pop-Tart and eat it. Like, look, there's the coach taking the first bite of the Pop-Tart after they won the Pop-Tarts Bowl. My poor guy. My poor guy. Fast forward. Everybody's feasting. Everybody's feasting on that Pop-Tart. Look at that. Everybody's feasting on that Pop-Tart. They're eating good after winning the Pop-Tarts Bowl, dude. They're eating good. So that's um So that's like a very American thing that happened. So did I see the Pop Tart? Yes, I saw the Pop Tart. American college football is the most uniquely American thing in like U.S. sports. Hockey, a bunch of people play. Basketball, a bunch of people play. Even American football, there are a lot of people in the U.K. that watch it and some other people like in Europe, certainly in like the Caribbean and in Latin America. College football is literally just us. <laughs> it is, it's just like our own creation. It's impossible to explain to anybody else. Like, you're really watching, essentially, NFL reserve matches, and you're like, yes, and this is life or death. Hmm. I'm watching college football, and I'm from Europe and doing it for 15 years. If you were able to get into college football and you don't grow up in like American culture, that is so fascinating to me. Because I feel like it should be so foreign. This guy looks good. Not willing to allow him to leave on loan. Well, that's just offensive that you would do that. Manzambi. Oh, dude, this is another guy that's fast and strong. That's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in all these dudes that are fast and strong, physically dominant players. Yee yeet. Mon Zombie. La Quincio Zifweek. Come on, give me a loan. This dude's at Feyenoord and looks very, very good. Absolute. Look at the aerial ability. 6'5", 190, jumping reach, pace, heading. It's all there for the Quincy of week. And then there's Victor Zavicki. Nobody really seems to know about 20-year-old pole Victor Zavicki, but I know about Victor Zavicki. I'm there. I'm paying attention. I struggle to watch American football. The breaks break my interest. It's totally fair. I'm not over here like, if you don't enjoy American football, you hate the world and you hate fun. Like, no, that's not my, that is not my stance. My stance is that as somebody that walks between both worlds with a lot of, you know, all the time where I have my American friends who are like, what do you do? You know, I'm like, well, I make videos about soccer and stuff. They're like, oh, man, I could never get into it. It's so boring. Nothing's happening. Like, they'll just say the same thing. Like, I think if you all if you all you guys just sat down at a table and talked about sports, you'd be like, yeah, we freaking we all love sports like the same way. We just we don't like the same sports because we don't understand the other sports. So we think it's boring, which isn't their fault. I don't blame my American friends either for not liking soccer. I'm always like, yeah, I get that. Like if you if you don't watch the Aguero quip like clip at a young age, you're like, well, what's the point? All right, so scouting priorities we're down to 38. We need to uh, we need to put a little hustle into this, boys. Let's see if we can ask. They they gave us more staff before. Maybe we can get more scouts. 
If we can get more scouts, that would help us just kind of power through this. No offers for Clint Lehman's. I am offended. 3.5 is fine. I'm going to drop it to 3.5, but I'm going to stay there for a little while. So Abdullah Alhamdan will stay on trial because he's one of the few guys we haven't really decided on yet. Enrico Rico Hernandez, Mbai Providence, Nurio, Andrea Rajnadovic, Sacedo, Ronald Matarita, all that's taken care of. So Bobby Etacanye. He's not very good. Why 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 do you like Bobby Etacanye? Why can't this guy play striker? Oh, his contract's running out. What if we just signed him in January? We'll give him the number 74 shirt. Gee, I think I can swing that, dude. I think Amar Warda, I think I can swing that. Give the, s the number 74? <sighs> A lot of competition. I think we'll be able to manage that, though. That'd be really funny if the number was retired. Uh, so this is an 854 value on the wage. We've negotiated what we could. I really, really like him as a player. I think this gives us a ton of options at midfield and wing. They can do a lot of different things. I think Amar, Amar Warda, very, very good. We'll try and sign him and get him in in the, uh, the August window, obviously, but... I'm just happy he's not bad. Guillermo Ortiz, too old. Too old, little slow, doesn't like big matches. Now we do have a scouting center thing. We've got like 41 guys in the scouting center, 44. So it's time to go through that. Time to go through these lads. Maybe our striker is hiding in here. I doubt it. Check the Syrian leagues. Dude, there's a couple of Syrian wonder kids the last couple of years, honestly. You know ball. Ah, uh, all right. Buzz and I. Where are the attributes? Where are the attributes? Have I signed any players for knock? Yeah, we've been we've been hammering signings. Oh, it's my Zoom, isn't it? Uh, we're zooming out a little bit. My sub can legally go drinking with Z. You may want to avoid that signing. Well, if you want to avoid me Googling it on stream, then the entire moderator team that's telling me to avoid that signing will send me a tasteful DM explaining to me why. I was wondering if it was so why it was so readable on mobile. Yeah, I'd zoomed in like 10%, which is sick. I'm just going to zoom out to do my uh, scouting updates so that I could see the attributes. All right, Klaes Bohanai. I mean, I have to, like, actually keep track of this guy. He's a striker, and we, we do not have the luxury of not signing strikers. Luis Olmedo. Uh, okay. Looking good. Looking good. Like to state the availability of my client. 
Cardoso, am I not scouting him? I know Almeido is being signed. Or... Almeido's on trial, I think. Yeah, there he is. Luis Almeido is on trial. We are determining his ability right now. 775000 to get this guy in. Okay, we'll scout him. No. Kevin Nisbet, trial. He's a super poacher, which isn't great. Now, oh, this guy's interesting. Dennis Bajinski. I don't know if I like him, though. I actually, I actually don't like this guy. I'm going to remove him from my short list. He only has 11 passing but 16 vision. Doesn't quite like big matches. Doesn't move particularly well. He's not smart with the eight decisions. I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's that good. I, I don't like this guy either. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, twenty jumping reach. Loving the streams as always, and hope your Christmas was great. Since you're doing a journeyman, your first stint in the UK should be in Scotland, preferably Celtic. All right, we're not signing Amar Warda. Where is he? Definitely not signing Amar Warda. I'd like to withdraw my contract offer for Amar Warda, please. Meantime, this dude. 20 jumping reach. I mean, I'm I'm at least intrigued. Like, how do you how are you not? Right? There's no he will always have the jumping reach advantage. Set pieces will always be a gigantic threat. Always. Every single set piece you have is, you know, life or death kind of insanity. Maxime Ducotu. Already keep an eye on him. Yona Asabute, no, Jorge Maroga, um, Murugata. Oh, he plays in uh, Peru. Oh, easy. South American midfielders, like South American box-to-box -box type midfielders, they're the best. He's only avail he's available for 140000 which is just insane. Is this dude free? Yeah, he's not even on a team. Trying to find my client a club. Well, then, dude, come on a trial. You know what I think? I think you should uh, come on a trial. He has no adaptability, which means I have no use for that guy. John Santos, Matty Virtue. Be free. Oh, he is free. Oh, -ho! another target forward. This one's good with the ball. Renzo Renaga. Oh, we're already scouting him. We found him through our incredibly rudimentary look for tall, fast people approach. Absolutely paradigm shifting. Looking for tall, fast people. Through Jumpman? I don't know. Jumpman's 500000 to $5 million. You know how much that is? LG, thank you for the nine months, my dude. Congrats on the sub child. Boiler, thank you for the prime. Since you're doing a journeyman, my first stint in the UK should be in Scotland, preferably Celtic. I've actually managed them before. Agitator, thank you for the prime. Erdem, thank you for the 10 months. Rap, thank you so much for the five months. Get this man a Fez, thank you for the 21 months. Uh, yo, Octi, thank you for gifting five subs. Am I blind? Oh, no! 
Apparently. I've been sewing in transfers for like 20 minutes. Octi, thank you for making five people's days. Thank you for gifting five subs. I am I am blind. Okay, good. Just checking. Elliot, thank you for the 30 months also. That is a heck of a long time. If you got a gifted sub, say thank you. I know it was like 20 minutes ago, but I'm watching you. I'm like Santa out here. I'm taking names. Keep <laughs> checking it twice. Sigma grind set. Climb. Does this mean I watch all of us when, like, when when you're asleep? I mean, how do you think we're able to identify Wonder Kids so prop like like, like so well? You know. How do you think we are able to identify Wonder Kids so well? You got to watch them when they sleep to know what kind of dedication they're putting into the whole situation. You know what I mean? You got to watch them when they, you know, when they're sleeping. Oh, is he free? Is he free? Malachi Boat, dude, the agents, the agents that come to you and they're like, hey, this guy would want to play for you. By the way, he's free. I know you don't know about him, but he's free. Ziga Lubchik. Ladislav Tukaj. Oh, I love the size and the strength and the ability to play multiple positions. I hate the work rate. The general lack of athleticism as well. I hate it. Uh, you know, it's not good. I don't like it. Not good. Not fun. Oscar Arribas. Augustine Lagos. Wow, he is... Wow. He almost makes me uncomfortable. Look at how look at how many Oh wow. That trend the transition thing isn't set up right. Look at how many good attributes this guy has. You can play like any all should be able to play more positions than he actually can. Very interesting, and as a result, a little too expensive, but definitely somebody you want to keep an eye on. Federo, we've already got a loan offer out for. Kareem Kalafat, who is a right back, one that would be rather expensive for what he'd actually do for us. This guy's available for $1.5 million, so he better be good. Ezekiel Gonzalez, I'm already scouting that guy. Evan Rotundo. Scouting's in progress. Well, scouting's done. He loan listed? Yeah. That's why we're scouting him. He's a loan listed player. All right, time to make a loan. Uh, we actually already have a loans short list. So what am I what am I saying? We'll just stick him there. Will Vox. I thought we were scouting him. Are we not? I was under the impression we were already scouting Will Vox. Did we finish and then had to come back again? Or like what what's going on? Arnold Garita? Okay, Alex Lopez and Bobby Ade Kanye. We are not interested. Thank you, though. Sweet. Let's go back to the other Zoom. I liked it better. But it doesn't give me the attributes when I'm looking at the players, which is no fun. Still strikerless, unfortunately, but, you know, there seem to be a few more guys in there, and we do have, you know, scouting priorities are set. They're strong. We have 46 guys. We might be able to get through that before deadline day. We'll see. That's going to be tight. A 28-sided polygon is called an icosic octagon. That's kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. That is wild. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Ikosikai. Ikosikai Octagon. Georgie. An Ikosikai Octagon. Ah. Uh, he's good, though. I think we're going to we're going to find our midfielder maybe from that group. 
Juraj Ignatovic is gone. I now don't have a right back unless we uh, we find a way. Or no, we don't, we don't have to find a way to do anything. We just need one of these guys to accept the transfer, particularly Ibrahim Ambai or Ingles. One of those two guys needs to accept the transfer. Giannis, find a new club. You're no longer in my plans. I'm afraid I must insist. Ioannis, I, I don't want to leave. Well, then do a loan where people pay your entire wage because you are overpaid for our reserve team, dude. Well, this whole Salvareski thing is awesome because every club is just coming up with me. Every few days, we just up it. I'm going to go to 900,000 and let's see how many people are there. The board, hi. Label us to spot more players. Um, I consider this important. Uh, okay, whatever. You don't want to give me more scouts? My scouts right now will oh, figure out how to do this. They will figure it out. Cube, thank you for the 34 months, my dude. <laughs> Master of the Rocks from the very end of the dinosaurs were named for. Huh? Is there any advice on set pieces? The majority of your players are on the low side aerially. Short, short set pieces, particularly short set pieces that um, don't have a player come short. So, like, I think I need to change my set pieces actually on that because we had it before. Like, get rid of the come short option. Just have these three play a short set piece. You'll usually get an open shot on the edge of the box. It's pretty sweet. We got a signing. Let's go. Brilliant left back, Nurio, joins the club. A player with all the skills and the skill set who's been playing at Ghent for the last seven seasons that is now joining us at Knock Breda for a very reasonable contract at contract value of about 250000 per year. He's a dog. All right, Ruben Providence, I want to delay. We don't know if we want to sign Ruben Providence. He's the worst option in that spot. And he also doesn't like big matches a little bit, which we, we're adding a few guys that have that, but we don't add too many. When we're in the second division, talent's the most important thing, but... We don't have the luxury of being able to ignore people that uh don't like big matches basically that's us after scouting him are you joking that's terrible all right yeah, that striker, I'm not getting a striker that hates big matches. The thing about Nurio is it's minor, and you know my scouts and stuff, they aren't that good, so minor could not be a problem. If it's major, then it's probably an issue, right? Loan offers made for Kai Vandervelt. Uh, well, they're looking to pay him like 100% of his wage, which I could be down for. That would free up a little more money to go into the first team there. So, yeah, you can have Kai Vandervelt. Clint Lehman's, dude, stop offering future money. I want the money now, dude. Stop offering me future money for Clint Lehman's, okay? Stop doing it. All right, I, I think there, there might actually be money in Ime Umba. So I'm Aungba. We're going to offer him out after getting rid of every other offer. Moderita. No! Oh! The Werder Bremen kid rejected us. Aliu Federa rejected the loan move. I'll make you a star. Uh, well, the only, the only thing we can do that will actually affect this is offer him, like, I will make you a star type stuff. Larry Kiyode definitely went. Well, I want to stay, we stay, you know, stay up to date on old Larry. Patrick Gryle, I'm really hoping he's not the best midfielder we find. 
but I'll keep him in I'll keep him in my thoughts. Suma no Salelo Rasabacha. I don't know why everybody thinks that he's so good compared to the rest of my team, and he's really not. Drumbayev. Decent. Al Sanati. These guys are just one step, like they're average players for my team. We need good players for my team. Burberry. Oh, I, hey, I don't hate that guy. He moves the ball well. We already signed a better version of him, but I don't hate that guy. This is the better version of him. Petros Mantelos. He is a glass cannon. You touch him, he goes down, he can't hold the ball, but if you can get him in a little bit of space, he can open up a team in a way nobody else can. Uh, that is really, really appreciated. He can run that in gaunch roll. You always need that old dude to run the in gaunch roll. Wow, 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 okay. I'm a Ongba. We are on to something here. Uh, do they want to pay 200000 for Ime Ongba? I don't know if they want to, but we've signed Bjorn Ingels. Let's go, chat. Thank you, Bjorn. Jozu, thank you for the seven months as well as part of the Hammers. I appreciate you. Bjorn Ingels. He's a little injury prone, but he's good with the ball, good in the air, smart defender, not cripplingly unathletic, although he is notably unathletic. But we need center backs, and Bjorn Ingels brings, you know, he brings a nice consistency, a nice quality to the team that we did not previously have at all. So very, uh, very happy with that. Facundo Castro, let's go, baby. Let's go. Facundo Castro out on loan, freeing up even more of our wage budget because we got rid of the 5'7 target man and his entire wage for the rest of the season. What a moment. What a moment. <sighs> this is what it's all about, chat. Okay, so this guy is available for completely free should we want him, which means we will keep uh, we will keep up the scouting. And now we play Maastricht away. After, dude, our first match, if you weren't here yesterday, our first match, we had a 2-0 lead and blew it, so... Quite the start. Whoa. How much money do you think I'm going to get for Salvareski? I've got these teams in the ringer, dude. That's his release clause. I can't go higher than that. We might actually be able to walk them all the way up to the release clause. We'll see. We'll see. We're checking. No, dude. Lehman's for transfer. Lehman's for a transfer. Please. Thirty-seven months, big daddy ham. What's up, quick trip? Happy New Year and happy new team means a lot because you got me started. Got mi uh, missed yesterday, so wanted to share again. Oh, quick trip! I appreciate it. I'm glad I could get you into the football manager addiction. You've been around a long time, my dude. I'm, I'm happy to see you still hanging out and having a good time. This guy's very good. He's also too expensive for us, but he is on the transfer list, which means, oh, dear heavens. I mean, the guy's legit, right? Like, there's no way. Say Wellison is a legitimate, brilliant player. He also has my childhood nickname that I, you know, people that have known me a long time always call me Z, and it's spelled Z-E for whatever reason. Thanks, four-year-old me. And uh, that matters. You know, that sort of thing matters. And we don't only have to pay 60% of his wage. That would be a nice solution to the midfield problem. And, you know, also. Exodo, thank you. Uh, Exodio, thank you so much for this sub. It, look, we only have a small issue today. We only have a small issue today. That issue is that we don't have a right back on the entire. Well, we have we have Civic. 
It doesn't really fit our tactics, so we're going to go fullback on support. Bell is not the guy, so we're going to go with Nurio for, uh, for, for, you know, you're going to go pick up Bell. And then where's Ingles? Oh, yeah, Ingles just stepped right into the starting lineup. And he's going to be a ball player whenever he steps in. He's going to take bigger risks. How's his weak foot? It, well, it is weak. So Badger's going to stay on the left side and play a little bit better. Civic is going to step out to the right. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Mantelos got in. So we, we do have Mantelos. Uh, Mantelos is going to go get Wagamakers for me. Or is he going to go get Rashid? Or Kaufman or Vandervelt. He's, he's going to go get Kai Vandervelt. Mantelos is going to get Kai Vandervelt and pop up on the bench as we slowly remove the youth players from our bench with signings. What a positive uh, move we're, we're putting on here. All right. Mark him. Leave him. Rocha Livermento. They're going with that narrow nonsense. Yeah, Simic and the great crosser. He's a good athlete, good defender, but we're not going to be able to offer a lot with that. Hmm. We're just going to have him. Uh, do we want him stepping in to probably, would that help us defend? Yeah, actually, I think this would be a lot of fun. We'll have Simic be an inverted fullback. He'll step inside. We'll have like a, a, a thruple on the back line. Ingles will be the guy that, you know, is in the middle. He's the metronome. He's the chance taking ball playing guy. And then Civic and Badger are on either side of him. And Abdul Rahman Garib is going nuts. Oh, we're missing a player on the bench. Oh, that was stupid of me. Well, we're not done with the reserve squad yet, apparently. Who else is down here that's not a goalkeeper that could uh that could help out? Thomas Van Zip. Well, I I mean, yeah. I mean, if he's better than Van uh, Van de Geest, he is. And Van Zip should be in instead of Van de Geest. And then there's Vandevelt, Johannes, who's the guy we're trying to sell. Ongba's on the move. The Shirati and Verlui. Who's the other guy? Shirati. Yeah, I think the I, I think it's uh Ver Vers Vers Louise Verlui is gonna do that. Like that. That looks like the right move. Okay. Still mostly a youth team bench as we build out the rest of our team, but we do have some good options. Some. What if I moved... Now, Mantelos would be... Man, I, actually, I want to... Do I want to start with Mantelos? Yeah. Drop Burmeester. I'm going to have Rivera go back. I'm going to have Mantelos step into this position. I'm going to have him enganch it up right in the middle of the formation. We're going to have Olivier and Chom there. Rivera... I'm, I'm going to do a little comparison. Rivera and Burmeester. Who should be our deep lying playmaker today? I'm actually, am I leaning Burmeester? I think I am. The things that Rivera is better at don't really help him be a deep lying playmaker. Rivera is a much better defender. That's really what Rivera's got going for him, is he is a much better defender. Burmeester is a more effective deep-lying playmaker where Brian Rivera is somebody that is a much better defender. That's where we're at. Altars, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Player traits, good thinking, good thinking. Definitely something we should check on. So Ezekiel Burmeester tries long-range uh, passes, plays way out of trouble. With uh, Rivera, we've got tries killer balls, looks to the pass rather than attempting. Both have good player traits to be a deep-lying playmaker. 
to dilp it up a little bit. Uh, do I want to emphasize offense or defense is really, really, really where we're at. Um, I'm going to go, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a Sendario type guy. We're going to emphasize the offense. We're going to go with old Burmeister, their Burmeister, La Burm. Uh, and then we've got Rivera to help us see out the match if we need to sub him in. All right, guys, let's get after it. Uh, why am I doing that? I already put that there. Nobody has any number requirements. Well, I'll just auto generate it. Oh, we are. I thought we already had our number 20. We're definitely going to leave number 20 open. Nurio doesn't just get to wear the honorary number of the best player on the team. We might give that to the striker that comes in, but it's definitely not Dion Vers Ver Verlui. Verlui. Come on now. First match of the stream, we're doing so much transfer business today. Fans expect to win. Do they? Well, then let's set some expectation. Away against Maastricht, who drew their opening match as well. So did we. I know the feeling. They got a nice little stadium here. All right, new left back, new number 10. Running it in Gonch today. Nice, Nurio. Mantelos. For Nurio. Oh, this is us. What a terrible hit by Bregu. Goodness. I want to see our defensive shape, though. I'm assuming the defensive shape is going to be amazing because I came up with it. No. Uh, but I, it should work against what they're doing. We, we create a back three against their front three, essentially. Has a possession, 58%. There we go. I'd like it to be a little higher. It's getting there. We have a ton of quality with the ball. I definitely want us to be able to hold on to the ball. That is poor. That is poor, guys. Oh, and then he's getting one tooed. That's why we need a new right back. Is that Tino's brother? Rocha Livramento. Surely that's not a common name. We just spread them out a little bit more. Livermento is a common Portuguese surname. Oh, it isn't that rare. The more you know. Okay. Um, been really disappointing to watch. We're not really shooting the ball. We're not. At all. We are not shooting the ball at all. I'm going to take Petro Mantelos off at halftime, which is not exactly the debut he was hoping for. And bring in Brian Rivera. Actually, may go with... No, not Everett Lindhorst. Not now. All right, what striker? Do we want Mustafa Rashid? Tino Kaufman? Or uh, Dion Verlui. Not Verlui, so it's Kaufman or Rashid. Which one do I want? Well, Kaufman's a better athlete. Rashid is largely a little bit smarter, moves a little bit better. 
But Kaufman being a better athlete, I'm going to put it. I'm, gonna, I'm putting him in. That that already settles it for me. It's Tino Kaufman. He's coming in at halftime. He's running as an advance forward, just trying to stretch the line, trying to open things up. Abdul Rahman Garib is going to go into attack. Uh, Olivier Cham is going to go into attack as well. We're going to be more aggressive uh, aggressive with the positions we're taking. Should be able to press a little bit better now that Mantelas isn't on the front line. We didn't do a lot. Did not do a lot in that first half. We're on to our reserve team striker because Paternina was so useless in that first half. Doesn't matter they're all bad. Yes, but who is the least bad? Our reserve striker. And that's who we're going with. Nice. Hey, watch it. Uh, oh, no, that's not us. Okay, fine. We had plenty of the ball, and the heat map was looking good, but the chances in the match, we gave them a couple of shots off their corner. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Really? God, we should be losing this game. Guys, this is not, like, what, what, are, we, what are we doing here? What on earth are we doing? We're losing so many individual battles right up the middle. That is the second time a highlight has started with a pass that went out to Garib and was not completed. We haven't really had a highlight this whole game. I'm really hoping Abdul Rahman Garib can change that. Olivier Ch Oh, square it! Oh! Get there. This is a good spot for this to start. I'll take any throw in like this. Riddick. Oh, he's got Bregu. No. Oh, it was, there's no. The keeper's not getting that. Mm. Brian Rivera, the opposite of a mentality monster. Important to remember. Brian Rivera is the opposite of a mentality monster. So Bagus sadly, is the guy that we have to bring in. We just don't have any other wing options. Olivier Cham is not doing well. Brian Rivera, again, the opposite of a mentality monster. Uh, just, just scared of his own shadow out there. I'm going to leave Olivier Cham in just because I feel like we have no, there's nobody out there that would, um, provide the quality that he provides. Okay, we're going to up our tempo. We're going to pass into space, particularly with Kaufman and Bargus now at left wing. There's more space and more athleticism to pass towards compared to the guys that we started in those positions. He's a mentality mouse. Couldn't have said it better. Duly noted. He's kind of useless off the bench if he's scared in a match like this. Honestly, if we get enough midfielders, we might look to sell Byron Rivera because he is so scared of matches, generally speaking. All right, we're going to go attacking since we seem to... We have the run of play right now. We we do have the run of play. I knew that. Without the match graphic or the match momentum graphic. If we win this ball, then that's how you know it's real. But we didn't. We let him drift away. Oh, we did win the ball. making sure that it counted. Uh, all right, Rivera's driving me crazy. I really want to get him off. Right with Cromington. Cromington. Uh...
That is a disappointing way to give away a goal. <laughs> that classify that that you know that goes down as a disappointing way to give uh, give away a goal. Because we won this ball and we had it, and then we just handed them the, the path and on goal. Like Garib has the ball, and then they do that. Like Abdul Rahman Garib just had to, I don't know, not stand next to the ball and let them take it. Come on, Garib, make up for it. I said all those bad things about Brian Rivera. I don't remember them either. That's crazy how the manager that was here before I got here, that's insane how the manager that was here before I got here said all those bad things about Byron Rivera. Like I couldn't have, I couldn't imagine. I mean, I don't, I honestly couldn't even imagine saying one bad word about Byron Rivera. What a deflection also. Holy deflection. Uh, oh my goodness, Garib who is an amazing free kick taker. Wow, he could win this game. This would be an incredible turnaround. Come on, Abdul Rahman, play a nice one. Oh, that's ours, that's ours, that's ours. Abdul Rahman, trot on over there, take it again. Take it again. Abdul Rahman Garib. Okay, the highlight's still on. No. Oh. This would be nuts. Bagus. That's a heck of a ball. Corner. Corner. <laughs> Garib. Oh, I missed him. Kaufman. Burmeester. And that's it. 1-1 one, one draw at Maastricht. Made too many mistakes to win that game. We were beating him up in the second half, but... Um, we were beating them up in the second half, but we made the stupid mistake, and we never were particularly creative in that game either. So two draws to start the season's not exactly starting the season with your hair on fire, but all right. <laughs> Lewandowski? What was he doing? Oh, Mary is Lewandowski. Okay. Got it. Different Lewandowski. It's like, why are you, hey, 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 you want to, you look, all I'm saying is there's a number nine jersey with your name on the back hanging up right downstairs. If you want to hop in there, if you want to, if you want to get after it out there, that'd be awesome. All right, two draws. That match, we looked a lot less good than the first one. You sit alongside with your new signing, Nurio. Yeah, I'm happy. I hope he can give us the boost. The sky's the limit for him, obviously. Um... Hopefully you can take us forward. It'll settle just fine. Life is good. Always do those press conferences just to make sure that they don't absolutely butcher the morale of my newly signed guy. What are the offers for? Uh, loan offer for Mustafa Rashid. It works for me. Salvareski, no. Vandevelt, Kai Vandevelt. Didn't I already accept an offer for you? I'm very sure I've already accepted an offer for you, Kai. But you can you can consider that one too if you want. Salaveski, Salvareski, Sal Salavareski. Undefeated season, still a possibility. Very true. I don't think we're in for that. I think that we can compete for a league title once we get all of our pieces in place. Uh, but I do not, I'm not, I'm under no illusion that we're in on track for an undefeated season. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going unbeaten. This is Knox world and everybody else is just living in it. Let's go. Uh, you want us to be losers, then beat us. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can do that. Not while Brian Rivero is out here scoring 89th minute bangers. Teen Troost has been moved on loan. We continue to lessen the weight on our uh, wage budget. Daniel Sinani, the 29-year-old Luxembourg winger. Welcome to the club, Daniel. 
The signings continue. Oh, our right back is here, which is unfortunate because we were kind of hoping that he'd be here the day before so he could serve his suspension now. But, you know, whatever. Um, right side, he's more of a, an inverted winger on that right side. Totally fair. Oh, you don't speak Dutch? Kind of surprises me, Daniel. You're from Luxembourg. Uh, Clint Lehmans continues to fail to attract interest. I will go down to three, but that's where I'm going to go. All right? That's where I'm going to go. Ibrahim Mbai, the Senegalese right back who will be joining the club and able to play right back right away. Decent athlete. He's not great, honestly, but he played at Grinning in the last three years, and that's an Eredivisie club, and he's going to bring that level down to us. <clears throat> All right, Ibrahim Mbai, welcome to the team. The signings continue. Our team continues to be built, and the patchwork that is the club we played the first couple matches with is is slowly being alleviated, you know. And unlike a lot of the guys that we have, he speaks Dutch. <laughs> He's been here a while. Ahmed Yasser Rayan, the incredible striker, is going to Derby County, actually. The striker that we so desperately wanted. So the signings we're still working on. Aliou Fadara, who's probably not a yes. Zewelison. We do have the trialists that we like a lot. There are some of them. Uh, just, uh, just a few of these guys, Matty Virtue, Malachi Boatang, Luis Olmedo. We do know him now. He doesn't offer the versatility in the wing spots that we like, but I think he compares favorably to Providence. Who's the guy that we're considering signing. Providence is a bit more of an athlete, though. So Luis Almeida versus Ruben Providence. That's the next comparison. Put him in long throws, heading, first touch. Dribbling goes to Almeida. Keep in mind, Providence has a mild aversion to big matches. But Almeida is also a little less familiar with the positions he's being he would be asked to play in our system. Age, size, generally athletic, uh, athleticism, there's no real difference. Almeida's a bit tougher, a bit stronger. We have, a, we have a bit of a lack of constitution in our team. That's been clear. Both those guys would be... Struggling to learn the language a little bit. Joaquin Torres, Ahmed Yasser, Rian. Well, you're not going to trial here while you're working on your work permit to go play somewhere else. That's not something I'm particularly excited about. Let's wait on the winger decision with Providence and Almedo until we know how good Joaquin Torres is. Because he might, well, he's not a speed guy. He's not a speed guy. He's a quality guy who plays with with quality, you know? So if we want a speed guy, it's Almeida or Providence. How does the flair compare? That is the purview of Almeida. Almeida is a much better goal scorer. I'm going to go with Almeida. I'm going to go with Luis Almeida. I know Ruben Providence is Haitian, and that's super fun, but Luis Almeida is a... I mean, here's the thing. I guess we don't know what Luis Almeida would want. He's also on a team. Luis Almeida is also not free. I totally forgot that. Where Providence is free. Okay, so nobody nobody said yes to the dress on Ongbe that way. So what about 150k? I think we can get some money for him. Where's the jumpy boy striker? He's 500,000 to 5 million, dude. We're not able to we're not able to make the moves on the jumpy boy. No, that's no uh, you like to. There's no way I'm signing this guy. 
I'm, I'm not going to sign Abdullah Alhamdan just because I can't find any other strikers. Zealand, be strong now. Be strong. So these are Lu Luis Almedo. How much would it be to sign Luis Almedo? They're like, no, dude, you got to pay that amount right now. Okay, fine, man. You you said it's two twenty five. Is that worth it? Is that worth it? Two hundred twenty five thousand. Check traits. They have none. Providence runs the ball down the right wing, which is very standard for a guy that's a right-footed winger. <laughs> very, very straightforward. He's been playing at Wolfsburger the last three years in the Austrian League. Obviously, 22 caps with Haiti. So he's internationally experienced. Said get both. We already have a decent number of wingers, though. Let me let me get rid of the unavailables so you can see. But we have Sinani, so we can get rid of Mustafa Rashid. All right. All right. Uh, let me... I have so many youth players up here still that are like on the bench of the team. It's alarming. Um, Lehman, Silver. What happened to the... Oh, the right back I already put into the team. No, I didn't. Where is he? Oh, he's unavailable because he's suspended. Oh, that freaking... I forgot about his suspension. I knew about his suspension. He's just going to miss a match. He's suspended from previous. <laughs> from last season, he is carrying a suspension. Which, uh, classic, classic move, you know. Absolutely classic. Oh, okay. We have plenty of wage budget to continue to sign players that are going to play a role in this team. Now, we have to be a little patient. We're going to continue a few days. We have to be a little patient. We've got that English ball winner that we're really into who might be good. We've got that winger from Argentina who looks like he's going to be a real fancy player. Our scouts are churning through as much as they can get through because we have guys that we're interested in and we want to look at. Offers made for Ongba. You see, there we go. We got two offers for 150000 There's your ultimatum. I'm not going to go past that. That's what we're getting. Uh, offers made for Salvareski. Boom. We just negotiated them up to $1.1 million in a transfer for this guy, and now he can go anywhere he wants. That's sick. Now, this Lehman's character, the fact that it's just loans every time we offer him out, bothers me because people really want Clint Lehman's. It also bothers me because he turned down a $3.2 million move to Poland just to be annoying, I'm assuming. And then Ongba is going gonna, gonna to turn down the offer for 59000 and we ended up getting a decent amount of money for Aime Ongba. Brian Salvareshi with a $1.1 million transfer to whatever club he chooses. That's his rele relegation release clause. Ibrahim Mbai, I believe he can make a big contribution. Good player is always a Jap. My job is to make sure everybody works together in harmony, uh, harmony develop well-rounded threats. I think he can settle and feel at home. I mean, you know, he's staying in the same country. We're giving him the opportunity to get himself back into the era of the Vizzy. I think it's a perfect chance for old Ibrahima. Perfect. How about some loans? Yeah, we're scouting for loans. Uh, we're working on two different loan offers right now that we hope are accepted. Uh, Federa is definitely super not interested. We have tried to loan him twice, and he is... Uh, He's not feeling it, but I can tell you one thing, Aliou Federa, this is not the last time you've heard from me. I can tell you that. It's not the last time. Camille Peshtka. 
just not I, I just don't think it's enough now if we could get an amazing agent recommendation that's not a bad start Jean-Louis Diouf would you like to trial that would be super cool if you did Prince Dubé from Zimbabwe dude it's because I know these agents it's because I was hanging out and sell out in Africa and they're like hey we've got these guys that would be able to do a job Prince Dubé, he might be the type of guy we just, with the number of strikers that we don't have, he might be the type of guy we just sail in and we're like, hey, I want to do the, I want to do this right now. Seca. I'm a sucker for wings with determination. I am, especially ones that are that cheap. Now, guys that are 3.7 million better be gods. I don't know if he's a god. So I'm going to say no. Juan Manuel Gutierrez is approachable financially for us, and he is. It's fine. Oh, there we go. That's all we want. Recommendation. Dude's got crazy world-class agility. Ruben Providence. Believe it or not, already aware of him. Maxime Dokuto. Abdul Giabre. Okay, Nicholas Romano. This guy's a shadow striker or a striker, versatile attacking threat. Yeah, it's worth a trial. This guy could be somebody that, you know, is a deeper cover center back for us. Flotiker, um I never liked you. I, I don't think you're very good. And then Patrick, who's... Apparently valued at four point five million by Bahia, that uh, which I don't find particularly cool at all. Those two African forwards, though, that those African agents that I that I know, ugh, that would have been sweet if they agreed to a trial. Particularly Prince Dubé, I think based off what we know, we just signed this guy right now. I think we just sign him right now. Cocky, thank you for the two months. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. A minus. I'm going A minus. I liked that one, Cocky. That was good. Atars, thank you for the seven months. Said I appreciate you supporting the channel. It was a good dad joke. I was actually quite good. I'm doing it. I'm sending it. Prince Dubé, I'm going to assume you don't hate big matches, and we are, uh, we're sending it. We've got a bit of a transfer budget that we built up. We're going to have more. Um, I'm not doing installments. I'm not doing international appearances. I'll do 275 up front. I'll do 50 after league appearance. They're wondering whether negotiations are worth pursuing at this stage. How about 300,000? Jean-Louis Diouf. I'm not as convinced that you're great because of your lack of vision, but I will send a scout down to check you out. And our scouting is still at the... It, it, we've actually, it's lowered by a couple. Ooh, Jenny. I mean, it's because he's a freak athlete, particularly in the agility department. Nah, I don't want to make that adjustment. They want me to change my recruiting focus because we just signed one player. They're clearly unaware of how many players we need. F just belligerently unaware of how many players we actually need. We play go ahead. Oh, this is the other team that we could have gone to. This is an important match for me emotionally. Respond to the Dubé offer. Respond to the Dubé offer. That's fine. He already has two offers that are in for 150000 for Ime Youngba. Yes, they accepted it. We move. Christian Ravic. I don't think he's good enough for us to want him. So never mind. All right, Prince Dubé, would you accept squad player? <sighs> would you accept regular starter next year?
I'm sorry, the last time I checked, you play in Zimbabwe. James Waziri, you and I, we've known each other a long time, but the last time I checked, this guy played in Zimbabwe. All right? And we are not going to, you know, if you make team of the year and, you know, you win the golden boot in the league, then we can have a conversation. We'll pay you 100000 apiece. I'm going to throw an assist bonus in there as well. And I'm going to throw a nice juicy 3K goal bonus in there that's going to increase the value of this contract pretty significantly. But I am not, you know, relegation release clause, non-promotion release clause. I'm not going crazy here. You don't want to get stuck in the second division, be my guest. But we just negotiated the heck out of that. We just negotiated the heck out of that deal for Prince Dubé. And I am so happy. Big bonuses if he ends up being a good player. Only 300 k up front, considering the amount that we have and money to move around. The actual total value of the contract is about 730 which is awesome. Yes! We got the Lehman's deal! $3 million to Homcom! Who the heck is Homcom? I've never heard of... Hammer Kamaratana. We got, no, I'm not doing 3.5. We offered him out for three. They gave us three. Everybody else was interested at like 1.1. We're taking the 3 million because you cannot upgrade it. If you offer him out for three and they come back with three, you can't go. I want 3.5. It never works. It does not work. Okay, Almeida, we'll keep him in mind. We're not going crazy for him right now, but we do have a deal in for a striker. Hell hath frozen over. And we got a $3 million offer for Lee. We have $4.3 million worth of transfers that are currently being negotiated. Moderita finally ended up at a club. Vizla Krakow. Almeida's uh, trial ends today. Leuven have joined the Salvareshi sweepstakes, but we're still getting the release clause of $1.1 million for him. Aime Ongba is leaving for 150000 He's the cheap sale that we're making, but he was also a reserve player. We've created a very financially healthy situation. No doubt about it. We're spending that money on wages. We're excited about it. We can delay Providence one more time, but we are going to have to deal with that deal after this match, whether we actually want to bring in Ruben Providence or no. All right, we're scouting is finished on Jacques Mbe. Ooh, a million is steep, but he is good. Um, oh, but he hates big matches, though. Nice find. All right. Our scouts are actually not terrible, so that doesn't, that doesn't throw me off too much. Bilal Inje. I'm mean, going to acknowledge that, and he's just not a guy I want to go after. Possession, attacking, and defending corners. Totally cool with me. Things are looking up. on me oh he signed before the match <laughs> prince dube from the zimbabwean league this is a reach oh sorry he's from tanzanian uh dude I was, zealand you know this what a fail i actually have a highlanders fc kit their kit in real life is so cool uh but azam's the big tanzanian team i've literally sold a guy to azam when i was in south africa but I know this agent and Prince Dubé, uh, a, a regular member of the Zimbabwean national team, 300,000. We're reaching into Africa to make a play here. We got his wage way down with a non-promotion release clause of $0. <sighs> we have a striker, chat. We have a striker. Prince Dubé. Come on, Prince. Come on, Prince. Be good. Okay, he's three full stars. Would have preferred three and a half. Well, he is the best striker on our team. He's rated as a good Ursta Division player by our coach. He is the best striker on our team. He's not as good as I hoped, but that's why we got him on squad player. He, oh, but he, oh, but he, oh, but he, yes. He likes big matches. 
We cannot have any more people that don't like intense environments on our team. He's very straightforward, advanced forward. There's not a lot to Prince Dubé, but he's the best striker on our team. So we can stick him up there, and he I actually know how to put the ball in the net, which is valuable. Atacanya, no. Camilo Mena. Camilo Mena, no. Augustine Pereira. It's a right back that cost half a mil, but he's got some good crossing. I, uh... Nah. I'll leave it. Bad but needed, yes. In an ideal world, that guy's our second striker. So Prince Dubé becomes, like, the backup striker. You know what I mean? Right now it's Paternina. But in the ideal world of the future... He becomes the backup. And then we sign one more striker who's like the guy. And then you bring in Dubé late in the game because he can push a back line backwards and he can score goals. But he doesn't offer too much outside of that. Oh, Wolf's on the way back. Matias de Wolf, Cuban international. All right, Brian Rivera, you are going to start over Burmeester. Not like Burmeester was doing anything crazy before. Olivier, Olivier and Chum back in the midfield. Actually, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Lindhorst out there. Lindhorst is going to play as a box-to-box -box midfielder. And Mantelos is not in because Incham's going to take this spot. And Incham's going to be... You know, Mr. I'm on attack and Garib's moving. And we still have to play our defense this way for one more match, but we look better. We look better. Ingles and Badger, my center back pairing. Still don't have a full bench. We are our goal is to have a full bench of players we've actually signed. <laughs> that we actually like. That is our goal. Will we get there? Who knows? But we have a starting striker, and his name is Prince Dubé from the Zimbabwean national team, and that is something to rejoice. What else are we working on? Oh, the Zay Wellison deal. That could be huge. The Zay Wellison deal could be massive. It's a loan deal that he's thinking long and hard about whether he wants to come play here. Transfer offer. Oh, Monza offered for Lehman's. All right. Uh, oh, nope. So we've got two $3 million offers for Lehman's. I might as well offer him out for 3.5. If anybody else wants to come in, they got to go higher. But then they get him. They get full negotiation rights. I'll reject the other offers. Jose Rodriguez from Hopewell, Tel Aviv. Oh. Versatile can play the entire back line as well if you need it. He's not a great center back, but this guy's got the – this guy's a mentality monster. He's a perfectionist. This guy rises to the occasion. He elevates the team. I kind of want this guy. Do they have any compensation? No. He wants star player and for us to gain promotion. This guy would have to be stapled into the team. He doesn't have great stamina. Which is a bit of an issue. Like, this guy's not going to be able to finish games often. You know? Good mentor? Ah, we don't care about that. Ten concentration. He loses daughter in the crowd. That's good. I love the. If he had, like, 13 stamina, I'd be all over this. Uh, 
Yeah, give me important play. Oh my goodness, dude. You want you want all the cash, don't you, Jose? Well, I'll tell you what, you get a non-promotion release clause and you get a relegation release clause. He's like, well, you've already promised me we're gonna go up, so the non-promotion release clause is stupid. Domestic clubs in the higher division as well. We'll see if we need that. Wow, we just uh I don't know how we got that done so cheaply, but Jose Rodriguez is interested. We couldn't play him as a ball winner all the time because he'd get too tired, but I agree that as a deep line playmaker on defend in that role in our team, he'd be really nice. All right, where's Rivera? I'm going to play Rivera, not as that, as a center mid on support, then Burmeester, then Sham, then Garib, then Bregu. What do we have? Um, all this nonsense. Yins, Jacobs, Baz, Kuypers. George Johnston and Johnston Amurwa. Some sick names. Pretty normal 4-2-3-1 with some... They have some strong fullbacks, so we should be able to spread them out. Going to make something happen here. I want to see us possess the ball well early. Let's avoid the mistakes we were making in the last game and, like, really get this going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Nurio flying forward. He is a very accomplished... I, I just think Nurio is a great player. He didn't play well in the last match, but I think he's a great player. Mantelos is available on the bench. Bench is getting better. Slowly but surely, our bench is getting better and has more. You know, now Pattern 9 is off the bench. Prince Dubé with his debut today. Dubé's getting number 10. Uh, we'll give him 11. Uh, no. Dubé, you get... Why does Teen 2 step 49? Okay. D Dubé, you get 26. I don't think you're our number one striker. I don't want to give you a stars number yet. I don't really care, but... <laughs> We're doing that. <sighs> Try Mahmoud Jabber from Maccabi Haifa. I do love Mahmoud Jabber. Did I just accidentally give away number 20? Oops. My bad. Well, who got it? They need to be good now. Well, it was... um. It wasn't Dubé. It was the other guy. Danelle Sinani? Oh, okay. Well, Danelle better have a good year. That's all I'm saying. Danelle better have a good year. <laughs> Danelle better have a good year. All right, this is the team that we, uh, I, I mean, we never applied to the job because we decided Knockbreda was the better job to go to. But this is the this is a team whose job was open and we decided not to take it. Now, obviously, we don't, still working to get our full team together, but we'd love to get a win after two draws to open the season. Want to see some nice possession. They should not be able to get to us. Bayer, out to Nurio, the end goal in international. Nurio, Nurio. Bregu, pen, beautiful. Don't know about the call, but we are down for that. And Olivier and Cham, our star midfielder. Let's just take care of business. Taking care of business early and often. Olivier Cham. <sighs> start winning. We need to start winning, and that is a great start to get Olivier and Cham off the mark at home against the go-ahead Eagles. Off the mark. <laughs> More like the go behind Eagles. <laughs> Thank you, Clay. Well done. You and I got there seemingly at almost the same time. Bregu. Oh, back to Bregu. Nurio. Back to Bregu. The Albanian. Oh. Drago. Well done. Oh, Rivera. Brian Rivera. Good gracious, man. I, you're actually a good passer, too. What was that? Oh, what a step by Civic. Well done. Rivera. Nurio. Sailing forward is Nurio. Puts a dribble move on. It's another penalty. Nurio trying to fit it into Bregu, and they just keep fouling him. And it's a charm with his second goal in seven minutes. 
We use some of that transfer money to bribe the ref. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'll say. I won't say anymore. Two pins inside seven minutes. This Bregu guy is going to win an Academy Award for all the flopping. Two shots in the match. They're both penalties, and we've scored both of them. So our ability to control the match is definitely it's going to be great. Ingles, Burmeester, Ingles, Sibic, Burmeester, Sibic, Olivier and Cham. Brian Rivera, nice pass. Nurio to Brego again. No, oh, Brego, no way. That's a pin. That's the clearest one of the three. It's three penalties inside 10 minutes from the exact same combination of Nurio to Brego. It's unbelievable. I've never seen this. And Bregu just destroyed the guy, got cleaned out from behind. It's a third penalty, and Olivier and Chom has a chance for a pin hat trick. He scores it. All three to the same side from Olivier and Chom. Bregu with a hat trick of penalty drawing assists. The left side of our team destroying Go Ahead Eagles right now, and it's Knock Breda absolutely flying. Oh, I mean, look, a pen's a pen, chat. I, I respect the ref for being able to call all of them. A pen is a pen. You got to make the call if they commit the foul. Grieb. Uh, might not be the best corner taker anymore on the team. He was the only decent corner taker on the team, which is why we made him the guy on both sides. But we'll check that after this match. Oh, nice, Civic. Oh, why did we give them that? That was way too easy. Go ahead, Eagles are awake. Trying to play their way back into this game, which is a, a tough task, given the way things have gone. They have won. They've started to win the momentum graph. Ah, Nurio, thank you. All right, 3-0. We've been spotted a three-goal lead. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds great. Love it. Burmeester. Burmeester, Rivera. Oh, yes, Nurio. Oh, come on, Nurio. Come on, Nurio. Come on, Nurio. Oh, Rivera. Yes. Olivier and Chom. Oh, it's Prince Dubé. It's Burmeester. Ooh. I haven't really seen Prince Dubé on the ball much. Oh, Abdul Rahman Garib. How dare you? That's ours. I mean, they literally just passed us the ball. Olivier and Chom. He's got Brego again. Don't get anywhere near him. Might give away a pin. Don't get anywhere near him. It's Burmeister. All righty. Nuria. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Stay focused. Stay focused. Also, you're playing brilliantly, obviously, Olivier. I mean, you got all those goals all over the place. Now Rivera's complacent. Dude, you were freaking out in the last match. Can I get one game where you're fine? Olivier, bad pass, still worked out. Rivera, Nurio, the left side's cooking. This ramshackle island of misfit toys we're building at Nach Breda. Like, no Dutch guys in sight either. We're just grabbing random dudes. Bregu, he's off. 
Dang it. Olivier Pinchon. It works. It's amazing how much the penalty merchant joke works with his name. Kind of overwhelming, actually. Didn't, you know, didn't expect it to be that good. All right. Everett Linthorst, you're in. We're going to move Brian Rivera. And then Bjorn Ingels. Let's try a wing sub. Let's go with Davey Bregu out for Daniel Sanani. Yeah, we'll do Sanani and Abdulrahman Garib will move sides. And then we could get him for, uh, as well if we wanted. We'll go with, uh, we'll leave Dubé in. I want Dubé to find, uh, I want Dubé to find himself. But I want Sanani in the honorary number 20 that he happened to steal from the dressing room. Unbelievable. Did we get Bad Boy in? Uh, no, he doesn't want to join us. We, I, I suppose we could loan him in, but we're going to let him develop for a year with Orlando Pirates, and then, you know, if we're at Knockbreda next year or if we're somewhere else, we can bring him in again. We've re-gotten control of this match in the second half, which is great to see. So not only did we get the three goals, but we have controlled this match for 70 of the 90 minutes. I haven't needed to have the goal-scoring urgency, considering we scored three pins in the first 11 minutes of the game. Which, again, never seen that once in my life. Well, we finally gave them something. Who's that? Ah, uh, it would be their left wing who cut in. Smothering. Smothering performance. That's Lindhorst getting stuck in. Do I find this year's game easier than before? I'm not the right person to ask. Because right? I've got like, you know, 10,000 hours of playing football manager under my belt. And so, FM, you know, if you give me a large club, barring utter catastrophe, uh will be winning everything in a couple of years, right? So it's usually, I mean, I can still get things wrong. I do get things wrong all the time, but football manager, I think is fairly easy for me generally, just because I've played so much of it. So I'm not the right person to ask. I, I think anytime people generally, anytime people go football managers too easy, it's because they're in that camp. And that's also football managers to create your own adventure. Like, football manager is still fun for me because I can take over a club like Doc Prada that just got relegated. And I'm like, all right, we have one season to get this team back up to where we can go win the league again, right? Like, that's fun. That's cool. Like, we've got a challenge in front of us right now that we're trying to handle. Ibrahim Mbai. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's done it. He has an actual defense for the first time. Ibrahim Mbai. Has served his suspension. Pog Say Wellison, valued at four point eight million, has agreed to a loan for just sixty percent of his wage. Can I get a loan? Yes, I can. Of course I can. It's a loan for crying out loud. That's a steal. Say, Wellison, welcome to Nach Breda. Coming from the Brazilian League. Adaptability may be a concern. Obviously, we didn't know a lot about him, but he's a banger of a player. And he already speaks Dutch. Are you, are you kidding me? Or do we just not have the option to? No, he doesn't speak Dutch. We, he's just a loan. We can't do anything about it. That's just a great player. That is just a great player, can do it all. Literally can do it all. And very consistent player who also enjoys big matches. I mean, what do you what, what is there not to like? Right? He hits free kicks with power, which is fun. He shoots with power, which is fun. This dude's definitely scoring a few bangers this year. This is this is sick. 
This is sick. We're also building a team of guys that can totally play a 4-2-3-1 from a deeper position, which I think we're going to try out now. We have enough guys that we can do it. At least it's our starting position. Olivier can even go back there. Yeah. Uh, like, everybody that we have that's playing midfield can go back there. Say Wellison. Say Wellison's going to be a roaming ball winning midfielder with Burme uh sorry Burmeister 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 I right, Brian Rivera Rive Brian Rivera is there We have Burmeister uh we do have Rivera as well that can do that but I think Burmeister's probably the right call um, I'm gonna go with the Regista. I think, and not a not the other one, but a a, a playmaking type defensive midfielder that gets back into that position when we need it. Um, say Wellison and Chom drops deep to help the build up play. The wings stay up. Nurio is able to carry the ball up as well. I like this. I like this. Should be a little more solid. We were a little open defensively. Uh, if we had both these fullbacks, you know, both these guys going up. It's kind of what we're looking at. How's Mbai's crossing? I don't really know. He's more of just a sound player with some sound passing as well. He's not somebody that's going to get too aggressive with the way he's positioning himself. Bert Vandalen. Oh, yeah, old Bert Vandalen. There's only a few guys like that. Croman Tween. It was perfectly competent from the Youth Academy. And then Bert Vandalen. Paternina. I really want to get rid of Paternina. I don't like him. He doesn't really fit in anything we want to do. He played as a deep lying forward in our first two matches. What a get. I that's why you make the offer right there. That is why you make the offer. Oh, if we have Say Wellison and Jose Rodriguez, our defense dude, our midfield is about to be so good. Our midfield is about to be so good. Say Wellison and Jose Rodriguez back there, two veterans, mentality monsters absolutely really mentally strong what's the season preview like now well we were fourth i think we're still fourth we're still fourth ahmed uh yasser rayan who was set to be our star striker no longer that he signed with darby county it's a sad day for everybody bruno gotta uh pretty clear that he's not the guy we're just going to let him go. How's our scouting going? We've got 30 guys left. Some random people are on hold, but we are working as hard as we can. Looks like we got some scouting reports on some forwards coming in, which is what we really need. Uh, we need that star striker that's going to be able to be a bag man for us so we can rely on. Hi, dog. Hi, puppy. Hi. Puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi. Are you hanging out with me in the stream room? Yes, you are. I appreciate the company, pup. Hey, you want to come up so they can see you? Come here. Oh. Come here. Come on up. Hi. You're behind the chat. This is a mistake. Oh, pfft. Hi, buddy. Thank you for keeping me company. Yeah, sleeping right next to my chair. Right, let's see. Um, I know, I know, I know. Ow! Don't ruin the don't ruin the jersey. Don't ruin the jersey. Ow! Ow! I was just trying to get that stuff out of the way so they could see you. Hi. You want to say hi? Look over here. Yeah, over there. No, you don't have to. Okay. You can get down if you want. That's all good. 
Just, you know, your puppy shot of the day. Necessary puppy shot of the day. Let the dog manage the next. Aspen, you want to manage the next game? How's your managerial game? Huh? Here. You want a little toy? Oh, there's a bear. Go get it. Ugh. All right, Silver SG, no. We're, why would we do a loan? We've got like $12 million offers for the guy. We're not doing a loan. Oh, I got to unveil Say Wellison. Well, a younger player brings a little uncertainty down. They say, well, Say Wellison can help us straight away, 100%. Um, he wants to play soccer, and he's lucky enough that he'll be uh, doing it. For, we're lucky enough he'll be doing it for us. Uh, will you be aiming to keep Say Wellis to the club beyond this? Be nice. The first step towards a long term future here. I think that'd be fun. I think if we get promoted, he'd be very interested in that. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, well, how does he compare with Clint Lehman's? And I'm like, well, Clint Lehman's declared his intention to leave a while ago. So that's a bit of a weird question. Very, uh, Aspen's a very nice puppy. She is. See? So She's my my friend when I come home. She's always very excited to see me. It's my spirit animal. Who is currently chewing on her paw. And then itching her nose. Fair. Oh, to be a dog. Nice to see your press conferences are downcast too. Apparently mine take place in funeral homes. Yeah, ain't that kind of the thing. Oh, that guy's not good enough. Francisco Gorometta, though, he's asking to leave once his agreed playing time. He is a right back of supreme quality. We need another right back. Do we just send it and sign this guy because the agent's telling us he's good? Because he looks like a very competent right back. I know, I look, I'm not a fan of the old Sendario. You guys know that. I mean, as much as I love to talk up the old Sendario, I'm not a huge fan of it. You know, I prefer to know how good my players are before they come on in. But we are short a right back. Don't need to rush it. We might. It's the 23rd of August. We might have to wait till January if we, uh, if we don't rush it. Matty Virtue is looking like a pretty good player. Joaquin Torres? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joaquin Torres is that dude. He's more athletic than I thought. He's full of flair. He's full of goals. This guy's a starter. Straight up starter for my team right now. Right on, baby. Get worked. All right, let me cook. <clears throat> 1.65 million per year. Just a small issue. Let me cook. Obviously, relegation, non-promotion, $0 release clauses immediately so that he guarantees that he'll be playing in the top league next year. I... Let him cook. Let him cook. People seem to be loving the team of the year bonus. Well, you're so good. I'm going to give you a $130,000 team bonus, uh, team of the year bonus. I'm also going to give you a 4.8 here. That's got a contract value of 926000 a year, which is a pretty strong contract, Mr. Joaquin Torres. Pretty strong contract. Eight K appearance fee. There's a one point oh six million uh deal. Unused substitute fee. 
It's 1.1 million in overall value, 1.5 million um, clubs in higher divisions with a 10% sell on. Win the league, you get 130,000, Joaquin Torres. Way. We're financially secure. I just, uh, so the big issue here, I need to explain myself. The big issue here is that we have two match highest earner clauses at 696,000 per year. We cannot go over that or we will be raising two other guys' wages too. But we do have a very financially healthy team, which means the landmark goal and assist bonus stuff, the 100K on the 10 assists, and I'll have to do 100K on five goals as well. So we can pay this guy a lot more money, right? Like we can give this guy huge perform uh, performance incentives. You know, he's basically getting like $200,000 every time he reaches one of these kind of performance goals. And we'll give him a five assist bonus as well. We'll just have it covered that he's going to make a lot of money as long as he puts goals and assists together. Oh, come on. That was a totally acceptable offer. Come on, Joaquin. That guy's a star. He is a legit star for us. We need it. That was a huge reach. It was close. That was close. Copium. I'm a lonely boy. Yo, oh, oh. I got a lot to keep me waiting. Malachi Boatang. Good fitness, good stamina. Dude can run for days. Looks to dictate the tempo. His decisions are nine, though. That's not great. Does not dive into tackles. Also a little sus for a guy that's going to try and win the ball. Not like his positioning is so... I don't really like his traits at all, actually. They're kind of terrible. I got a lot to keep me waiting. Dang it! All right, the right back. I completely forgot what we were doing initially, which was the right back. Completely forgot what we were doing. All right, scouting update. Francisco Garometta. Garometta. Okay, they're willing to negotiate. That's brilliant. Uh, after league appearances, per league appearance. All right, I'll remove that, but I'm not going to get rid of it. All right, 525. I can live with 525 for a guy that's going to come in and be an you know, insert starter type right back. Kalebe. Plays a lot of positions that we could use somebody at. Callum Patterson also does a little right back, also plays a little striker. What in the world is this guy? What in the world is Cal what Aspen, what is what is Callum Patterson's deal? Do you know? No. Oh. What a what a bizarre lad. Kind of interested. Curiosity gonna kill the cat on that one. Apostolis Constantopolis. Apostolis Constantopolis! Just a name that deserves to be yelled. Lee Hyunju. Oh, wait, what if we... Ah, no, okay. 
So no shot we're getting him. His transfer value is way too high. Good player, though. He's the 145th Byzantine Empire, yes. I know the only reason I scouted that last guy is because he had that agility. It's just crazy. Stop recommend, recommending me at a Kanye. He's not that good. All right, we're sending it on the right back. We're really excited about Torres. We still haven't found a striker that we uh, we like. We still haven't found a striker that we like outside of Prince Dubé, who's come in to be, you know, the relief pitcher of the strikers, the guy that comes off the bench with the pace and the advanced forwardness, which is good. He's the best striker on our team, but he's still not as good as I think we should have. There's got to be some striker around somewhere in the world that's, like, actually good enough to be a huge difference maker for us. Somewhere in the world there is. Hi, right, Kmet. I guess we got to send a scout to go figure out if that agility is the real deal, huh? Apes in the plan. Thank you so much for the six months, dude. Congrats on your silver bacon. Thank you for supporting the stream. I appreciate the sub. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Joaquin. I'm bringing Joaquin, Virtue, and Boateng back on trial. Those guys are all legitimately interesting to me. We learned nothing. All right, are we bringing in Jose Rodriguez? The steady hand of Jose Rodriguez. The mentality monster of Jose Rodriguez. The fun name to say of Jose Rodriguez. You want to go? I'll let you out. Come on. It was time for Aspen to go run around the house a little bit. He's got nine stamina, not six. IRL Jose Rodriguez is the GOAT. It looks like a fun player. My only issue is we had to promise higher playing time than I would have wanted uh, with the important player playing time thing thrown in there. But um, this allows us to sell Brian Rivero. And that's, you know, clearly his mentality just sucks. So, <laughs> right, he's disappointed not to go to Real Cartagena anyways. So we've got that problem solved. Jonas Bayer is going to be fine with his playing time. Brian Rivera. Brian Rivera doesn't want to be here. And what we need with our team is guys that want to be here. So what we're going to do is sign this guy and we're going to move Brian Rivero. I'm going to ask agent about market interest. We are keen to move him. There's interest, though, so watch this space. I'm watching. I'm going to offer him out via transfer room. I don't like Rivero's mindset. And we are going to bring in Jose Rodriguez. So Brian Rivero is going to be out. He doesn't want to be here. We want guys that want to be here because we're all pulling in the same direction to get this team back up to the top flight. And we've got Jose Rodriguez who's going to come in and immediately be the guy we need, right? He's going to come in and be the guy we need. Lately, I'm like lightning in a bottle. Okay. He's on an intensive language course. He's here. Jose Rodriguez is in. Go team. Contracts expiring this year. Marco Bizo, Paternina. Oh, I didn't know Paternina's contract was expiring. I would love to sell him. I would love to. His wage is huge as well. Let's go ahead and throw him in the offer out. And we'll just keep signing guys. All we do, keep signing guys. Enrique Hernandez. That's in our forwards recruitment focus. And somehow Enrique, how is Enrico the only guy? 
Lars Gindorf, he sucks too. Can we not find anybody? Really? Gabriel is a decent fine. Free dudes. Andrea Rajnanovic, well, he, he's gone now. Improve the team. Lee Hyun, yeah, Lee Hyunju was a good find. Audrey, oh my, wait. Wait, 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 No, why is he on my loan list? Jumpman, Roberts Uldrikish. But he, uh, you know, we can't, we can't make the move. Now, granted, we do have a little money. We have more money on the way in. Zero dollars. Baloney, thank you for the two months, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the stream. Father Zealand. Brother Maloney. Uh, Robert Soldrikish for 1.5 up front, 750,000 over the next couple of years. Okay. We're going to put that offer in. I mean, we have no other real options at striker. It's kind of crazy how few options we've been able to put together at Striker. Like, it's alarming how few options we've been able to put together. Oh, my God. Diego Collado is playing at Parma. He's been at Parma the last three years, hanging out in Serie B. Not playing particularly well. He's listed. Can we bring him over for a week so we can at least learn something about him before it's showtime and we have to sign him? Please. Please let him come over for a week. Oh, they accepted it. Oh, wow. They're actually going to let him come over for a week. No, dude. Just get rid of that. I'll do the six. Yeah, I'll do the six. We negotiated him down 50000 at the end of the day. I'll do the six. Just go down. So, Rivera's, uh Why did your agent bring you to me if you don't want to play here. I didn't find you. You came to me. You came to me. And you said, hey, man, I kind of went out of the club I'm at right now. Do you know any uh, anybody that would be able to help with that? And I was like, yeah, I could help with that. And then you were like, actually, screw you. Now I'm considering Augustine Lagos because he's the most interesting fullback of all time. He is very interesting. Runs the ball on the right, gets forward whenever possible, moves the ball to the right foot, avoids using his weak foot, and he hugs the line. He, he stays wide. Lagos. Jens Jacobs, he sucks. Okay. So Augustine Lagos is hanging out. That other freaking loser. Wow, this guy. This guy's good. This guy's great. He's so much cheaper than Lagos, too, and he's got good crossing. He offers something we don't have at fullback. Good stamina, good work rate. He's intelligent. This guy's really good. Yes. Augustine Pereira from Coventry. He's cheaper than the other guy we were going after, too. Oh, heck yeah. Let's get rid of those. Just 275. How about this? I'll give you 300K up front, and then you just say yes. Decline to give an immediate decision, but I'm liking what I see from Augustine Pereira. That's good stuff right there. Lagos is just weird. Yeah, he's unbelievably balanced. He, he brings the ball forward well. He's got tremendous jumping reach for a sec. I really do love this guy, though. He would be so fun to pick up and just have on the team. But do I really want to spend $1.4 million for? I think you can do so many different things with him. He, he adds so much comfort. There's so much comfort in that guy being on your team. 
But Augustine Pereira is the more the smarter, more economical option who does a ton of things well. Three hundred thousand up front as a potential payment, like that's amazing. Loan Legos, I think I already checked, but if I didn't, then I look like an idiot. Yeah, I already checked. They don't allow him to leave because of the first team commitments, but he once his initially agreed playing time and requested a transfer listing for one point four million. Diego Collado will be loaning. Okay. Now we got to remember the three guys whose trials just finished. We are bringing all of them back: Joaquin Torres, Virtue, all of them. They're all coming back. Collado might be the guy we signed to be a star winger. Jose Rodriguez unveiling press conference. Uh, strong focus on long-term goals. I have a great respect for Jose Rodriguez and what he's done in his career. Looks like a... Oh, let's go. Let's go. Sale completed. That's another big moment. The finances are still banging. We've, you know, freed up some wage budget. We're still secure financially. That is a $1.1 million sale of Brian Salvareschi. He's gone off to Angers to go play in uh, Ligue 1 Uber Eats for $1.1 million. He was one of those guys that wanted to leave. Clint Lehmans is another one of those guys that wants to leave. And he's got a $3 million deal that's been uh, offered from two different clubs. An F1 racetrack has offered $3 million for him. It's crazy. So Lehmans leaving as well. And then that is the last major sale we are anticipating. Although we do have some more minor sales we're looking. Oh, wow, that was fast. All right, Clint Lehmans. Three million. He's decided to go to Monza, unsurprisingly. He's going to play in Italy. After the relegation, he wanted to leave. He made it clear, and we said, all right, you got it. Joaquin Torres, hopefully he will be a little more depressed the next time we come around trying to offer him a deal. Uh, they're willing to negotiate on Aldrikish. Are they, though? I'll get it to $3 million, but I'll pay it in delayed installments. How about this? We'll do three 12-monthly installments to delay that even more. So we only have to pay $1.5 million this year. But then we will pay you $3 million. An after-league appearance fee seems a little excessive. Uh, that seems a little ridiculous. But I will indulge you at 150. Minimum league goals? Well, what's the point of the other one, then? We have a deal for Roberts Ildrikish. We have a deal structure in place, 3.2 million total value, 1.5 million this year with reasonable payouts considering the financial situation of the club over the next three seasons. Pereira off for negotiated. Uh, yo, how about just 350, dude? Screw you, 375. What? What is this? What is this? What is this nonsense? All these transfers we're negotiating. Roberts Ulrichish. It's not $4 million. Well, that was what they offered back to me. That was a very long negotiation. So Clint Lehman's transfer has gone through. We've got $3 million in the transfer budget. We've got tons of wiggle room in the payroll budget. We are super secure financially. Oldrikish. All right. Starting striker. Does not want a lot of money off the wage budget, which is awesome. Dude, chill out. Not bullying you that hard with the wage here, man. I'm just trying to get a good deal. All right, so the wage is really easy for Robert Zildrikish. He's so unique. A truly unique player that we can play off of with the incredibly talented wingers that we have. Now, Ruben Providence, we either take him or leave it now. 
Uh, Brian Silverashi. Yeah, I, look, obviously we would have preferred to keep a lot of the guys that wanted to leave, but we have, we've got a healthy financial team now. He's a fun, he is a fun player. Ruben Providence. He's a beautiful. Uh, I know. He knows. So we're looking. Matt, well, Matty Virtue, Malachi Boateng, and Joaquin Torres are trials. Then there's Augustine Pereira. There's the other right back if we really wanted to go that route. He dislikes big matches. He doesn't hate them. My issue is that we want to sign Joaquin Torres. We're also looking at the dude who's on trial with us, Diego Collado. I, I don't know if there's room for, for Providence on the team. I don't. So we already got, we already got a couple of wings, right? We've got Bregu, we've got Abdul Rahman Garib, and we have Daniel Sinani, who is a very competent winger, can get, get the job done in a lot of different ways. We've delayed it twice because we like Ruben Providence. He offers that physical ability. And we don't know if we're going to get Joaquin Torres, right? We have no idea, but he'll, re he'll reject the delay. They'll make us make a decision on, on this move. We like the athleticism, the ball carrying ability, the crossing of Ruben Providence. He's a winger, inverted winger type of guy. Gets the ball in, and obviously having a guy with that kind of crossing is great when you're sizing up a striker that can jump into orbit. Kind of a mediocre kind of player. I think there's a job that he can do in this team. We've scouted Bashara like twice, just complete Floposaurus Rex. Hey Brogan, thank you so much for the prime. This is this is crunch time for us. This is decision time. Try Joaquin again. He's coming in on trial first. We get him on trial, and then we're going to look at him like on deadline day and see if we can get Joaquin in. Uh... So mad they signed this guy right before I got here. I really, I really don't like Davy Bregu that much. Oh, I really don't like Davy Bregu that much. But he can't, he's like this immovable object in the squad. 
I'd rather have Ruben Providence on the team than Davey Bregu, but Davey Bregu's just already, he was here when we got here. He'd just been signed. I think we're signing Ruben Providence. We're signing Ruben Providence. Welcome to the club. After a long bout of consideration, Ruben Providence is here. Malachi Boateng actually just signed somewhere else. That sucks. We really liked him. Now, I think Joaquin Torres and Matty Virtue both might end up on the team by the time we finish this window, but let's keep them trialing. We've got the offer out and a couple of spots. Jorge Maruaga. Ma Maruaga. Muruga Muruhara. Jorge Muruhara. Easy. Don't know why anybody would have an issue with that. He's good too, man. Shoot. Value's low. He doesn't have a lot of flair. He's a no-nonsense box-to-box. Keeps the, the team ticking over with his passing. He's not a creative force. Sorry, we have those in other places. Uh, definitely somebody we want to keep track of. Muruaga. Muruara. Muruara. It's a pretty easy name, actually. Matty Virtue can ball. It's Virtue or that guy, and Virtue's also free. So that's the, like, deadline day consideration we're going to have. Because we got one more match before we get to deadline day, I would assume. I, I don't see it even on September 1st yet. So I, I would assume our deadline day is, like, right after that. We've raked in a record income. Powder 9 has received an offer. He's extremely interested in moving to Luva. Dude, will you just chill with this? I'll pay you 50k after his league appearances if you want that 50k. I just wanna I just wanna talk to Augustine Pereira and see what he wants. I really don't like Paternina, and I want somebody to take his wage off my hands, so this would be awesome. Carlos Paternina, there you go. Rivera, nobody, nobody came for him? That's wild. I am going to transfer list for Rivera. And then offer him out again now that he's been put on the transfer list. Pereira offer accepted. All right, sweet. Intensive language course. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, well, we have to we have to offer him at least the 468 because of where we are. Relegation release clause. Oh, that was easy. If we get relegated. Then you're gone, and we pay you the minimum wage for a non-EU player, which is not atrocious for us. It's half a million a year in total contract value, which is a good deal. It's a good deal. Two draws and a win so far this season, and our team is still coming together. That's our second right back right there. Suleiman Abdullahi. Really? You're saying he's not that good? I'm going to take another look at him. Lepushek. We could totally afford to go just add one more center back. We are short like a natural center back guy. I would actually love to to add one more center back. Ooh, he's not that good. What are you doing? What are you doing lying to me like that? He's not that good. You're lying to me. Come on, man. All this nonsense. Motobang bad boys on the move. Don't keep those scouting reports up to date, but do do the other ones, you know, if you got the time. All right. We have a few more scouting reports that are going to be done. So it's mi you know, at midnight on the 1st of September's deadline day. So it's our last match before the all-important deadline day, and we settle our team. And there are some big deals that are in the wind, but right now it's all about playing against FC Den Bosch, who are going with a 7-3. And we are definitely going to want to keep track of Nick DeGroot. The very unusual 7-3 they're coming with here. All right, let's check how many first-team players we have. So we have Ruben Providence, who's going to be able to come up to the bench. We have Jose Rodriguez, who's going to be able to pick up, uh, well, Kaufman. We could just do that. Except Kaufman is going to go up and take Paternina because Paternina's gone. Rivera, we are working on moving. 
but we'll keep him around. Um, Rodriguez will walk down. So we have Linthorst, Rodriguez. I'm going to keep uh, Beermeister there. Rodriguez is going to come off the bench at least initially. We're just trying that out right now. Cromantown, uh, Cromantown Mantelos, Sinani, Providence, Kaufman, Bell, Sibic, Vernerson. Our group of three competent left backs for some reason. I don't know why they signed Bell. I don't like Bell. I don't like Bregu. I don't like the deals they made before I got here. They may they they they're, they're foolish. They they were foolish. Okay, but the deals are the deals are good. I already did that. That was me. Okay, the deals are good. Jose Rodriguez wants number fourteen. Uh, it is not retired, so you get forty four. Say Willison's going to get eight. Ibrahim Mbai is going to get, not two, he's going to get uh, 22. And then Ruben Providence is going to get 12. All right, everybody happy with those, except for Jose, but we'd already given the number away. He can't be that mad at me. He really can't. Carry forward this performance in the next match? Yeah, okay. Those words that I said in the wrong order, do that. Away against Den Bosch. Bregu's half the reason you got your first win. I know, but that doesn't mean that long term. I long term, I still don't like uh, Bregu. Long term. All right, away against Den Bosch. Let's do it. Oh, Garib. Had an amazing first match, Abdul Rahman Garib. Bit of a no show in the next two matches. Oh, let's go, Garib. That's even though he didn't complete the pass, it's still a lot better to see from Garib. Burmeister. Say Wellison. Say Wellison. Oh, bad foray. Oh, Bregu, nice play. Nurio. Bregu. Oh, Olivier Chom. Who was off? Dube was like screening the keeper, apparently. Come on. Bregu. Garib. Bregu. It's still Bregu. It's Bregu! <sighs> All right, change. We got to change our midfield because they're so deep with their unique formation. We're not able to get enough pressure on them to get ourselves the ball back. Garib. Uh... Olivier, Olivier and Chom, Bayer, Ingles, and by Garib. Oh, nice touch. On to Incham. Oh, it's brilliant. Goal! It's a gorgeous goal by Nakhreda. They've opened them up so comfortably. And Olivier and Chom with his fourth goal in two matches. He is adapting to life in the Netherlands quite well. Abdul Rahman Garib with a blow by in the Cameroonian midfielder. Will usually cash that chance. Garib, let's go. Burmeister, Meister, Burmeister. On to Olivier and Charm. Has Prince Dubé. It's Dubé! Well, he hit it hard and he hit the target. That's usually what we're looking for. <laughs> Just didn't go in. Oh, nice. Good shape to that. Good, sh you know, good movement of the ball. Good attacking. Gilbert. Uh, easy. Ingles, who loves to play a pass. Oh, and he's found one. 
It's Bregu. Burmeister. Say Wellison. Olivier and Chum! Oh, the composure! From Olivier and Chum, he's got goals all over the place now. He's on for his second hat trick in as many matches. Well worked by the lone Issei Wellison, and Olivier and Charm leaves three defenders behind. Five goals in two for the Cameroonian international. Good to have him by. He's making his debut today. Burmeister. Prince Dubé, oh, it's Bregu, slips by the defender, Bregu, the Albanian, Davy Bregu. Kevez, thank you for the 19 months. We still don't have a goal from our striker all season, but that time Prince Dubé does get the assist. Nice run by Davy Bregu, good strength, perfect finish. This is the best we've looked all year right here on the road against Den Bosch inside 26 minutes. A legit 3-0 that required zero penalties. Complete match control. Bringing those midfielders forward has helped, but we've given away a stupid set piece. Woo! Oh, way to meet that. Way to meet the oh, Olivier and Chom. It's not just the goals. He's, he's committed. Double block on defense, then carries the ball clear. That's what dreams are made of. Entry, thank you so much for the prime. Thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy your ad-free experience. Uh, is this the Derby? I don't think so. I think Willem is our Derby. Say Wellison. Oh, it's in Chum! Oh, it should have been a hat trick. What a pass by Say Wellison. And Olivier and Charm, everything but the finish for his hat trick. Oh, it's Bregu. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Garib onto a Charm! Oh! We're on the move. We are on the move. Oh, we've gone short. It's Bregu! I'll tell you, Bregu's making me reconsider needing a star left wing. His last two matches. Bayer, Burmeister, Incham, down to Prince Dubé. He's going to have a whack here in a second. There he goes. The Zimbabwean. Let's go. You got me hooked on this game. I'm just starting off, so I figured I'd give back uh, the money. Well, I appreciate that. Welcome to the football manager uh, addiction. Good luck managing the other parts of your life. Oh, come on in, bye. He thought that was going to fall for him. All right, Nurio. Oh, big ball. Back up toward Dubé. Uh, you know, that's why we need our big 20 jumping reach striker out there instead of Prince Dubé. Because with these guys moving around, like, you know, the kind of cyclical motion we're going to have going around that super target man. It's going to be a lot of fun. And by Garib. Oh, Garib. We're there. Nerio's there. Way to tie that up. Burmeister. Burmeister. Say Wellison, who's been fantastic in that ball winner on support role. Nurio. Nurio. Burmeister's inside. That's who gets it. Still Burmeister. Say Wellison. Olivier and Chom. We're, we're, we look. We look great. Imagine what this team will look like when everybody settles and they get to know their names. Yes. Uh, we are going to be, we're going to be very good. Uh, we're also playing a team that is in 20th, right? This team is in last place uh, after the first three matches of the season. So we don't know if they're actually the worst team in the league, but it's not like we're playing the league leaders and smoking them. We're just, we're, we're, you know, if we're a team that wants to compete for a trophy in the league this season, we're playing the way that we should against a team like this, right? But I don't think that this is like we're going to murder the league sort of stuff. Den Bosch looks like they're in for quite a relegation fight. 
Ooh, I like it, say Wellison. Ooh, I like that. The headed through ball towards Prince Dubé. Kevez, thank you for the 19 months also. I, I was so locked into this, I don't know. Don't know if I said that, but I really do appreciate it. Burmeister. Oh, it's Say Wellison. It's Abdul Rahman Garib. It's Prince Dubé, who's been much more involved in this match, which has been nice to see. Had to fly all the way from Tanzania to the Netherlands and get comfortable in a few days to play his first match. So I understand that like a full week, maybe he's at least over the. You know, I guess there's not a lot of jet lag in that. Not a huge time change. That's like two hours, maybe. Bregu. Burmeister, say Wellison, Incham, Burmeister, Incham, say Wellison, the triangle, Burmeister gets by one. All right, we have uh, we've dominated the first sixty minutes completely. Um, Nurio is going to come off for Vernerson. We have Vernerson some time, and we get Jose Rodriguez's debut in the Say Wellison spot, and Petros Mantelas is going. I, I just want to try. Uh, burmeister has been great. I want to try Olivier Imcha, or I'm gonna, I'm going to try uh, Petro Mantelas. We're going to take Burmeister out, bring in Mantelas. Uh, we're going to give. Since, you know, we're swaggering around a little bit. We're going to give Ruben Providence. No, he's complacent. So let's, let's not give him a debut when he's complacent here. Ooh, do I smell a fourth? Mantelos taking the corner. Oh, that was right where it needed to be. Abdurrahman Garib. Garib! Oh. Good hit. Very good hit. Rolex. He's been under some pressure today. Nicely handled. Mantelos. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez is feeling it. Vernerson. Oh, and it's in! Oh, yes! It's four! Well, you know, let's just chalk that up to Vernerson. Let's give the guy a goal. You know, he did a great job there of just running around. Four 0 on the road from Nock Breda. You know, and this guy that he had the magic touch in South Africa, first time managing in Europe, and uh, it looks like that magic touch is uh, very much still there. Very much still there. So Ruben Providence, you're going to get Bregu now. Uh, Daniel Sinani, you're going to get Abdul Rahman Garib. And those are our subs. Just want to get the two new wingers out on the field so that they can run around and get a little match sharpness. Oh, Dubé. Oh, he's got Providence wide open, but he didn't see him. Vernerson could also go to Ruben Providence. Also didn't see him. Olivier going for the hat trick still. Still missing. Aldrich has scored two in his match. Wait, seriously? Well, that's why we want him. He's a game-changing player. What a pass. Uh, I can live with that. Aldrichich does have two goals of the other match. Well, that's why. Why do you think we're looking at him? We're looking at a huge transfer deal to bring in a guy that's going to make a big difference for us this season. Come on, Sinani. Oh. Santa Suarez.
It's bad from Ingles there. It's a stupid header. And then uh, really surprising he's able to get that shot off. Doesn't really change the way I feel about this game at all. We still won the momentum graph in the half that they scored the goal in. But. That was a very good match. That was a very good match. We saw a lot of Prince Dubé doing some good stuff. Loved what we saw from Say Wellison. Wow, Madsen. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Madsen. Thank you for thank you for supporting the channel with kindness for making five people's days. If you got one of those gifted subs, Kumon's Nomad, Maka, Isu, and Perdverted. Is that a bird happily joke? Uh, and, and, and be sure to say thank you. And I'll see you in the subsection of the Discord. Nice, nice. Deadline day upcoming now. Deadline day upcoming. Wow, if we sign a Drikic, we'll be signing the striker from the team that's in first place. We are in an automatic spot right now for the first time this season. Uh, we are in an automatic spot for the first time this season. That's huge. Emma Slara Music, thank you for the 27 months. Hey there, Zed. Been a second since I caught a stream. Hope you've been having great holidays, and I wish you a wonderful 2024. Said so third is an automatic. Yeah, but Young PSV is ahead of us. They do you the favor of highlighting the right teams. So Young PSV, Young Ajax, uh, Young AZ, and Young Utrecht cannot gain promotion. So when they're up around that spot, it just goes down to the next uh, spot. Marilli, thank you for the prime as well. Appreciate you spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos' money. And I have been having a good holiday. I appreciate the, uh, oh, he's here. <sighs> oh, what's that? Oh, that's a good beat, dude. Jumpman is here. Roberts Udrikish. For 1.5 million up front, 1.7 million over the next three years. That amounts to about 575,000 per year over the three years after that for big Roberts Udrikish. Oh, we are up to something, Drake. Thank you for asking. We're signing Robert Sildrikis. Woo! Robert Sildrikis is here. Well, that's going to make things a lot more fun. Prince Dubé's the sub. Robert Sildrikis is the hold-up play. And Olivier Acham is the run right by him when he has the opportunity. That combination between Sildrikis and Olivier Acham is going to be freaking awesome. Our team is uh, here now, dude. We have a team now. We have a team now. We have a team now. Like an actual team. We've got our striker, Roberts Odrikis, the jump man, Davy Bregu, Incham Garib, Burmeister, Jose Rodriguez, Say Wellison, DeWolf, and Linthorst to play in the midfield. Nurio, Bell, and Vernerson on the left. Bayer, Sibic, Ingles in the middle, Imbai on the right, and we're working on another transfer. Oh, there's the Revere offer. Sweet. How's Guinea? He's good. Not good enough. He's not Jumpman. 
He's not, uh, let's not get it twisted. He's not Jumpman. Okay. Not Jumpman at all. How much do you want? Please tell me you're like Breakthrough Prospect. Yes. Yes, you are a great deep cover defensive option. Very happy with that. Hey, man, watch it. Watch it with all the demands, okay? Give you 158. Yeah, 158K is uh, total contract value for Tristan Goy. I, I'm not even going to try that one. I'm not even going to try that one. Uh, wow, Rivera, that is low. Oh, what's going on? Oh, would you care to, uh, would you care to introduce the lunch that's just appeared before me? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. All right, it's, it's a vodka toast, some hummus, and some, uh, so, so not a sweet potato casserole, just sweet potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Super yum, though. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Chat Pog! <laughs> All right, Brian Rivera for 350K. Sure, why not? Didn't seem like we were going to get too much more than that for him anyways, and we didn't like his mentality, and he didn't want to be here, so we want to get him off the team, dude. Bone apple teeth, everybody. Lunch is here. Yeah, my, the, the, the catering department for the stream, yes. Hold on. Hello, glorious mombot and mother of all things great and holy. Um, I am. Could you bring me a Gatorade, please? <laughs> oh, where? Oh, oh, never mind then. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was my water. Okay. I uh, no, no, that's fine. Least lazy streamer. It's a very long walk to the Gatorade. And she, I already have water. I forgot I had the water. So it's fine. Chat, if I wasn't streaming, I would have gotten up and gotten the Gatorade myself. I want you to know that. <laughs> I want you to know that if I wasn't streaming. Oh, hello. Arnold Garita. Am I about to sign three strikers? Because we want to get another big, strong target man type who can play in our system. Okay, well, he is unhappy. We would have, but we cannot afford his wage demands. Uh, you would want seven or seven, nine or 40. You would expect to start most matches. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. I mean, we just spent money on a, you know, another guy who has a similar skill set to Arnold Garita. That being said, I am going to keep track of that situation. He's unhappy. It might devolve further, in which case we would be very interesting. Or we'd be, be we would be very interested. All right. We're waiting on the Collado information before we move on Torres. We've got maybe Maddie Virtue. Eh. That midfielder from the uh, Peruvian League, but the one spot that we're not actively addressing is our need for one more center back. Our desperate need, not desperate, 
but our desire to have one more solid center back that steps into the team. Now, Augustine Pereira can play a little center back, which is cool. Let's go to the good list. I know I've, I've probably stashed somebody here. Beloyi, no. Uh, Burn, Rojas. Augustine Lagos. Alex Custodio. No. We're going to have to go to the player search, dude. Do 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 not Constantinopolis, unfortunately. He's so slow. Oh, Canada. Nippy, thank you for the uh thank you for the six months, dudes. Congrats on your silver bacon. I appreciate you supporting the stream. We're gonna celebrate. Lapuchek. Ooh, decent. I I said that the last time I looked at him. Oh, they wouldn't require a lot of the wage to uh to loan my boy Brian Laza and more content like the Pharaoh the laser beam. Madsen said I uh will we see more content like the Pharaoh Islands video? Also, I saw earlier uh thank you. I'm glad you love the video. Um I saw you were saying earlier. Uh yes, our plan, our I our our hope is that in the future the YouTube channel will be one of those a month. Um that that's our hope. We're not, you know, like, we're not, like, quite honestly, we're just not able to afford that right now. Um, subs like that help, obviously. But our goal is to do one of those types of videos a month. And if, you know, we end up making a giant series out of that sort of stuff and are able to continuously hire a bigger and bigger crew to do that sort of stuff, that's what we want to invest in. That video was essentially a proof of concept that we could do it. One week each month, yeah. Or usually what it takes to film. Uh, Madsen. Peepo ads like this to help too. True, yeah. The ads that pop up, they help. So Brian Laza, and then there's Nikola Serafimov. We could just loan in two backup center backs. <laughs> but what if uh, we just loaned in two backup center backs? Nikola Serafimov and Brian Leza. I don't know if they're both going to say yes to that. I've offered them impact sub trials. For really reasonable wages, they've both been accepted. Uh, we will see if we just loan in two center backs to just take care. <laughs> but what if? Uh, but what if? Can I get in my loan dance real quick? Oh, Rivera. Oh, it's a loan deal. I don't care. No, somebody's offered a Serafimov a uh, transfer. New record purchase to go after Robert Sildrikas. Yeah, well. Now, Rivero, we've got a transfer deal in place that looks like it's going to be a good one. Hello. Always looking for ways we can improve the side, 100%. Uh, in my experience, it takes being in the right environment uh, to flourish. Um. We don't need to sell anybody. We're very financially healthy as a club, despite our relegation. 
And Carlos Paternina has been sold, which will help that even more. That reduces a significant pressure on our wage budget, over 500000 per year that's being spent on Paternina. So we're glad that that's been removed off the books. And the same with Brian Rivera whenever he agrees to his transfer. Uh, Garib just bruised his head. Happens to me all the time. I bump into things. Why are the journos so sad? I have no idea. They've been sad since I got here. We have morbid press conferences. Absolutely morbid. We just got me feeling so free. Elias Cabrera. I have, I've had this guy on my team, haven't I? I've had Elias Cabrera on my team before. There's no, I totally have. I've, I have memories of Elias Cabrera. That man has been a part of the save before. So Dutch people like complaining. It's like, this is going to turn into a commentary on Dutch society. All right. I, I really like it. Oh, this guy's playing in Africa. Criminally overlooked players in the African leagues. We've already signed one of them. Ivan Ledesma. They actually are willing to trial guys out of South, uh, South America sometimes. So I'm going to take a look at that compensation looks like his contract's coming up very soon so we might as well take a peek come on most of these guys are guys we already know got to be better Ooh, hello my good friend julian ingoy with the speed nemanja jovic and Atakan Akainak. Atakan Akainak, who's playing at Kasim Basha. No, Ledesma. But you look like such a decent player. Sweet. Lopez, welcome to the trial, dude. Oh, we play Young AZ. We play ADO Den Haag, and then we play Young AZ. I don't know why ADO Den Haag was playing right now, but deadline day's closing in. We have the two loan offers out for the center backs, both which would be awesome, one of which we're probably not going to get because he has a transfer offer in. Who doesn't love complaining? Oh, I love complaining. Don't get me wrong. Camps, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, Miss Raven, thank you for the four months. Camps, thanks for making somebody's day. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Could you uh, betray? How could you betray bad boy like that? We're not betraying him. We're letting him develop in South Africa for a year. He doesn't really want to leave yet. Things can happen quickly. I wouldn't count anything out. We have Augustine Pereira, Tristan Goyer, Brian Leza, Nikola Serafimov. We have options. You know, what do we can work with on the back line? Leza might turn into a starting center back. You, you don't know. You don't know how these things are going to work. Kaufman, no. What's this? 12 deals already this window? I mean, yeah, we've had to we've had to do a lot of deals, but I'm not talking to you about them. Okay. Oh, my. I think Augustine is a little better. Collado also hates big matches, so we learned that. That's huge. Wa well, sorry, Joaquin, uh, Joaquin Torres, a little better. Doesn't hate big matches. Zealand double checks to make sure. All right. <sighs> oh, yeah, I, I finessed you last time with the old regular starter important player next year move. See, he wants a lot more reasonable amount of money. That is a tremendously reasonable amount of money. That he wants. Wow. All right. Um, okay. That was a little annoying how you did that thing and like went back up. Andre Booth does not seem to like me and certainly does not want to be bullied. Why? Why? Why are we doing this? What are you doing? This isn't even the offer you came in with. 
What is happening? <sighs> Composure, Zealand. He baited you in with a low offer. That's fine. It's his right to do that. You have plenty of room in the wage budget. You just can't go over 696. This is when you're raising other people's wages. Happy New Year in case I'm not around for the next stream. We got him. Joaquin Torres, we got him. He's the guy we want. He's the star winger. We got him. Chat, he's coming in. Hey, yo. So, so Mama Lamaso. Thank you for throwing down six gifted subs. Chat, show some love to Samama Lamaso. If you got a gifted sub, obviously say thank you. And Samama Lamaso, thank you for supporting the channel and, and making six people's days. Who got who got the gifteds? Movie Secret, Yurima, Love God, Milo Caster, Trev, Kafrizen. Nice. Roman, thank you so much for the six months. <laughs> I I'm Hobbs like, love. Yes, Zealand. Love your videos. Get in, lad. How long is the stream today? We probably got another hour in us. You know? We leave tomorrow morning, so I gotta get off and pack up and stuff. Do, like, laundry. But... Hmm. Do you put lemon on this? Oh. Uh, it's a lemon hummus. Interesting. Hey, Soma Lamasso, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you so much for the five more gifted. Thanks for supporting the channel and making five more people's days. Mogzy, chill, bad, fex, and uh, Callie, welcome to the hammers. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. Uh, make sure you get the uh, the um. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Uh, Serafimov said no, so he uh, he had an actual transfer lined up, which totally fair. I uh, Jenny definitely want him to stick around. Patrick Soko, I haven't seen you yet in my uh, my report. You're definitely a good player. Where's he playing? Albacete, Spanish second league. Eskison. Oh, we we didn't learn anything. I want to learn something. We did not actually learn anything about either of those guys. Majic. Uh, okay. And uh, Evelio Cardoso. Got to scout him again, man. We got to scout him again. We, we, we know nothing, you know? We know nothing. Let's upgrade our package to Europe. We have enough money that we can we can get our scouting in all of Europe, and that'll help us by the January window. Coyote's got a transfer offer, and I believe, or is it the second? Is that really where our deadline day is? And Ramari, thank you for the nine months. Congratulations on your Twitch child. Congrats on getting the job of the team I support. Take him to the Champions League. We're trying to get him back to the Eredivisie now. One, one crisis at a time. If they give me my coaching badges up to pro, I'll take them anywhere they want to go. <laughs> but if they don't, we're out. Tycoon Gaming, I'm glad you enjoyed the Faroe Islands video. Uh, that does mean a lot. I appreciate it. That's the most we've ever put into a video and was like the proof of concept to be like, hey, we can do this. You know what I mean? No, you don't. No, you don't. I, I'll up it as much as I can, but. No, absolutely not. Oh, 450? Helmon Sport. I right, please tell me that he wants to take that transfer. We have no real indication on this, but I'll take the other hundred thousand that they want to give us. It's hundred thousand more than the previous deal. Oh, they're really saying this dude's legit four stars straight. 
We might just bring him in anyways. Um, okay, Augustine Pereira said yes to the dress. So we've got our other right back. We have two right backs. Augustine Pereira, uh, who's been playing at Coventry City. This is what we know about him. We are having to take some shots in the dark because we've had to build this team up pretty quickly. But I like the deal. It's 400000 to Coventry City, and that dude's coming in, and he is good. Oh, yes, he wants to go to Hellman Sport. He said yes immediately. Bye, Brian. Take your bad attitude with you, Brian. I'm cleaning up. Oh, I am cleaning up this locker room. I am cleaning up this locker room. Only dudes that want to be here. That's what we're here for. So what are you? Oh, he's. Oh, it was such a good signing. Oh, he's so good. Oh, it was such a good signing. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, he's got serious game. Madsen, thank you for five more gifted subs, dude. I appreciate you. Thanks for making five people's days. If you got one, be sure to say thank you and enjoy your bacon. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Wow. That was a, uh, you know, I don't always recommend shots in the dark, but that was a big time shot in the dark. And we just sold Rivera with that sale covers the purchase of Pereira and the wage which is insane. We would basically made a little money swapping Rivera for that guy. He gets 40. Okay. So we didn't make any money, but we didn't lose any money. We got Joaquin Torres, baby. Let's go. He picked us over a top Danish team. Interest in the goo man. I'm just going to call him the goo man. He is here as cover at the defensive position, but Joaquin Torres is in. The free agent 29-year-old has joined the club. This guy's deep cover. He plays all the backline positions, which we love. Uh, we absolutely love that. Uh, wait, is he not in the senior team? Because he should be. There you go. In which case, I now control his training, and he'll be working as a ball-playing defense. It's got to hit continue once or something. Come on, man. All right, Joaquin Torres, absolute beast. Oh, uh -oh. the 29-year-old who last played for Nordsjælland in the Danish league, which is why Denmark's going after him, played at Montreal for a couple of years in MLS, played at Newell's Old Boys where he broke through. He's the guy. Brian Leza, we've loaned in at center back. Let's go. What a deadline day. Center back depth achieved. Star winger achieved. Star striker achieved. Excellent right back all of a sudden. And now we have depth, quality, and all. Oh, I like that guy. I'm sad that he's moving. I like that guy, and I'm sad that he is moving. Oh, you hate big matches. All I needed to know, Taha, you look like a good player, but you ate big matches. So last thing we need to do, we're going to the loan list. Anybody on the loan list? Not just defenders, anybody. And we're letting that player, the group of players stack up. And we're looking for people we might be able to loan in for free. Uh, Zeef, we, can we get him for free? I am torqued right now.
The one important player on Evan Rotundo, I need squad player. Oh, they're okay with that? As long as he's playing attacking midfielder and we're paying a bit of his wage? That's not a lot of his... It's not a lot of wage at all to get Evan Rotundo in. Wounds! Thank you for the five gifted subs, Samalamaso. You were gifted 16 subs today. You are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the stream like that and making 16 different people's days. They now have the emotes. They can get in the sub section of the Discord. They can do all that stuff because of you. They've got the bacon in the chat. It's the loans. It gets people fired up. Rotundo and Zefuque. La Quincio Zefuque. Brilliant name. Evan Rotundo. Can play the wings, can play the midfield, can play attacking midfield where they want him to play. That's where I want him to be my backup. So we get him as a squad player, as a guy that can back up that position. And honestly, why not add one more guy? If he's free, he's not free. He's actually entirely fully waged. Samuel Bello. And Uriel Celli. I mean, this guy looks like he could just be amazing. So let's just... You guys want just to take a stab at this? Just see if Uriel Celi is, like, good. Little Joe, thank you for the two months, dude. I appreciate it. Love your YouTube vids. Well, Don Doggy, I love you. <laughs> Welcome to the streams, dude. Oh, Sally's a legend. You want to send it? We've got the room and our wage budget. Like, we actually absolutely have the room. We could totally just send it and then just get a bunch of good players in our team and figure out the, you know, rotations be damned. Just figure out the rotations later. Just gonna send it. No way they take fringe. My God, they took fringe. They actually took fringe player. There's no way. They've accepted all three. I don't think he says yes to that. I think he rejects it and we have to redo the deal at a higher playing time. Or they all just say yes immediately. LaQuincio Zifuque, yes. Evan Rotundo, yes. Uriel Celi, yes. Loans are so broken. I love loans so much. We have so much talent all of a sudden. Like, so much talent. He's so good, too. He's so good, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. They, we, the, the, the talent we have just assembled randomly on deadline day with a couple of very cheap loans. The total wage expenditure of the three loans we just did was under 400000 Actually under 400000 Are you aware of the stupendousness of that fact? Thomas Van Zeep. I thought we had a different offer in for this guy, but I guess not. You want Thomas Van Zip? Is he some? I mean, he's got something of a future, but they're giving us a percentage of profit. Uh, his wage isn't crazy. I'm going to reject that. I'm going to offer out Chrome Town for, uh, for a loan. I'm going to offer out Chrome Town for a loan. What's Lindhorst playing time? Squad player. We're going to need to drop that. Wow. We have a, we have a team now, dude. We have a team. The youth players that we were using at the beginning of the season, we're now going to want to loan out because we have a full team of guys we trust as full first team players. Bert Van Dahlen, he can actually just hang out in the uh, reserves. Uh, Bagas, we're going to look for a loan. Tino Kaufman, we're going to look for a transfer. See if we can stick one here on deadline day for Tino Kaufman. What a deadline day, man. 
Loans. It's all about the loans. And now we're loaning out the Fortuna Liga. Why? Slovakia's like, this guy is great. Yeah, you want to go play in Slovakia, dude? By all means. Uh, no, I don't want you to drop down to the third division. Uh, Enrico Hernandez has done a deal. Totally fair. Chromantown, uh, really? Nobody? Guy seems like the type of player that people would really want to uh, to have. Tino Kaufman. How do you feel about $250,000 for Kaufman? How do you feel? We have an hour left to conclude the deal with probably not enough time. We did it. We have rebuilt the entire team selling most of the first team. We got down to like nine players there at one point. We did it. We signed an entire team. We signed 24 guys. We got rid of 21, a lot of whom didn't want to be here in the first place after the relegation. So here's the vice captain. I might just go with like, well, they want to go with Bjorn Ingels or Pedro Mental. Uh, actually, Bjorn Ingels, if he's on that tier, he is. I'm thinking Bjorn Ingels is the guy. Good leadership, good teamwork, guy that plays center back for us. New signings to be unveiled. Dude, there's so many of them. I'm sitting next to Pereira, but. Uh, one player can be the difference between winning and losing. Yeah. Will Goyer be able to give us a decisive edge? I hope so. Brought in a top player, that can only be a good thing. What's Goyer's best position? I'm thinking maybe center back, but we'll see. Presumably that's where will fit in your side. He'll play there, but elsewhere as well. Joaquin doesn't speak Dutch. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, it's a universal language. Joaquin's, uh, you know, Joaquin's got star ability. He really does have star ability. We're very excited about what he can do. Very excited. What a transfer window, dude. Well, Vox. Do 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 do. All right, media odds after all the signings. Odds Vigala did sign somewhere. That guy was pretty good. This we we found a couple better midfielders. It's what he does, Chad. It's just what he does. It's what he does. It, it, it's what he does. Look at that transfer window. Look at the season preview after that transfer window. It's what he does, Chad. It's what he does. It's what he does. We came into a club that was financially insecure with a bad locker room and players that wanted to leave. We got rid of those players, which made the team secure. We made a ton of free signings. We invested a lot of money in a star striker who was already doing serious damage in the league. We now have a financially secure side with a bunch of players with experience and talent under contract. And we're pulling in the right direction. We have turned this club around, baby. We have turned this club around Abdullah Alhamdan I am no longer interested in keeping you on trial I will however keep uh no I'm not gonna keep Matty Virtue around I don't think he's good enough anymore um Alex Lopez and Jenny though they are good enough they're definitely good enough so we're gonna do the not at club thing so we get a couple guys out on loan and then we're also gonna pop up with an unavailable move we got a lot of players a lot of good players, a lot of dudes that can get the job done. Lucas Brichero, 
Is he fully scouted? Yeah. Wow, he is weird. And now we play ADO Den freaking hog. A real test of character. The other team that was relegated from the Eredivisie, how have they handled it versus how have we handled it? The expectation is that the, the ferocious boys from Nach Breda will win. Oh, Zico Burmeister. I don't need it. I don't need the money. We're very healthily under the wage budget and everything else. Um... I will say I I will put up an amount where if they paid it I'd be like yeah I'll do that. They're willing to consider it so Oh, we might get it. We might we might actually end up selling Burmester right after the window. Why would I, you're asking, why would I do that? Well, there's no squad registration and we happen to have, we did, you just happen to have a certain Alex Lopez currently on trial with the club who I think might be better than Burmeister. So why would we do that? That's why. Because there's no registration and we just sign that guy and it would be great. All right, match time. Uh, is this loan still going to be all right? Yeah, looks like it is. Iksan Baga says good potential. We want to get him out there, get him playing. All right, guys, let's uh, let's set up our bench, get rid of the unavailable players. Wow, look at the team we've assembled. Look at the friggin' team we've assembled, dude. I'm so proud of it. And then those late loans that we just threw around. So proud of that. Laza. See, actually, we didn't really look at Laza. He was kind of a guy that we just took a shot on. Do we think he's better than Jonas? Not really. I think Jonas is a little bit better than him. But he's certainly a good, competent backup center back to have. All right, so we should have a second center back up here, which would be Goizier. And then Linthorst is gone. And then we have the two midfielders. Because we have basically have everybody and then one. We have like an entire lineup on the bench and then one. So Kortsmith, Leza, Gujer, uh, the Goo Man, Sibic, Vernerson, Jose Rodriguez, DeVolf. Uh yeah. Torres obviously is gonna be up here. Uh Mantelos. I love Mantelos. He's the N1. Mantelos is a wild man. I don't think Ruben Providence even makes the bench now. Bregu's off. Uh, personal instruction. Winger on attack. Cuts inside with the ball. Uh, once the ball's picked up, looks to attack the goal. Then we've got the overlap from Nurio, which is why we have that in. Uh... Bregu, Sinani, Providence. We also have Chelly and Rotundo, which is crazy. Uh, I think... So many good players. We have so many good players. Dubé is not on the bench. Zayfuke is on the bench. Dubé is sliding down to a deeper role. We're, we're going to have some playing time issues with the way we built this team. We are going to have playing time issues. I'm aware of that. Uh, this guy's going to go into the transfer list for how much money? 500000 for Tino Kaufman. Yeah, he's got goals in him somewhere. I don't know where exactly. You ready, chat? Uh, Grieb is injured. We'll rest him today.
I wanted painted neck. All right, we're hitting the ball up to Eldrikis. We are playing more direct with a lower tempo. We'll see how that plays early, but he is such an unbelievable aerial presence. I think he'll just overwhelm the other team. Do, 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 do. Oh, true. Floated crosses. Good call. Good call. No pass into space ever while he's on the field. Do, 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 do. Oh, what a team we have. Let's get it. I'm so excited about this team. What a wild team we've managed to build. Let's paint it, Knack. Rotundo wants 10. Well, we can give him 10. Uh, Robert Sildrikis gets 11. Or uh, now Joaquin Torres gets 11. What are we giving Ildrikis? 99, because he's the biggest guy out there? Yes. If you're thinking that, that's what I was thinking. I can't run anybody else. He gets 99 because he's the biggest dude out there. Good luck marketing him. Robert Sildrikas, the most expensive signing in knock history. All right, let's get after it. Stay focused. Take care of it today. This is a good match against a team that did just get relegated from the top flight. We're certainly not keeping the ball well, but we do have a set piece. Oh, we've gone with our short option. Providence, oh. Don't worry, we only run the short option 25% of the time. So don't, anybody that freaks out that goes, you have a guy with 20 jumping reach, who just keeps him honest and takes advantage of it. If, if the team we're playing against happens to leave that open. All right, Ingles, Providence. Dang. The debut of Providence, the debut of Uldrikish, the debut of Pereira at right back. Everybody's you know, a lot of guys learning the language, a lot of guys getting familiar with each other. But as we build cohesion with this unit, we're going to be really sharp. Pereira, Sewellison. This might be the last game for Burmeister. Incham, oh, Bayer, Nurio, Nurio. Oh, see you later. Oh, see you later. Oh, he's still going to cross it. Cross it. Oh, it's Olivier Incham, and it was blocked. All right, now let's put this one in. Let's put this one into the jump, man. Where is he? I see him. I see him over there. Aldrikis! Oh. It's Torres. Oh, say Wellison. Come on. Way to battle, Ildrikas. Providence. It's Providence, the Haitian. Providence. It's Ildrikas! It's Ildrikas immediately! Oh, he's overwhelming! Oh, 
It's going to be a long season for the Dutch second division having to deal with Jumpman. One nil, it's Ildrikas. Great assist by Providence as well. Tingus Pingus, what the hell is Tingus Pingus? It's like blaring outside the stadium. Some dude in the parking lot. Right over there, right by the food. <laughs> dude just with a giant speaker. Jump in. That's what I was expecting. And that's what we got. Providence floated across up there, and there's there's nobody in the world that can jump higher than Odrikas. Oh, boy. You're not jumping back on me. Not with the short corner cheese, or the short throw-in cheese. Providence looks really good, by the way. He's doing a great job. Nurio. Fire. Nurio. Aldrikas with a hold-up play. Olivier and Chum. He's in! Great hold-up, though. That's how it's supposed to work. Receive. Give, get rid of it. And Chum's not doing well. Let's go with... Uh... Can I have Sanani? Manzalas isn't really the guy I want there. Sanani, yes. Uriel Zelli. No, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. Have him cut inside. Well, hey, let's go. Come on. This is easy, guys. This is easy. We won Sonani. Yes, we're getting the number 20 in. We're getting the number 20 in. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Pizzo, good work. We have not been good in the second half. That's where we needed the subs. Help take charge. Jose, where's Jose? Give me Jose for Burmeister. We'll just do a couple of deep lying playmakers back, or a deep lying playmaker and a ball winner in uh, Jose Rodriguez. Jonas Bayer for uh, Brian Leza. I know he, I know he's never played for us, but Bayer's in a yellow card, struggle a little bit. We brought in Leza because we want to be able to trust him for these moments because he's like a competent center back. Okay, we have one sub left, one window left. Jose Rodriguez is out there with Say Wellison, our old midfield. Sinani's playing in the middle. Pereira, Pereira. That was an uncomfortable save. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing Jumpman a lot this season. <laughs> Aldrikas! Oh, wasn't the best ball. Oh, where is he? The Loney Uriel Selly. Looking for Aldrikas. Ruben Providence. Yuri Elzeli. He was off, really. That's lazy. Sanani, oh. All right, last sub. Where could we use a little bit of sharpness? Probably in uh, Nerio's spot. Or maybe you say Wellison's spot. You get like Matthias DeWolf in there. I think that works. Oh, he actually can't do that. I did not know that. 
Well, then he still works on the bench. He just doesn't work here. All right. Vernerson, you've done uh, good work to earn yourself a spot here. You got six minutes to run that flank. Have a good time. Nice, Laza. Good work. That's stupid. Nice work by Laza. Dude tried to hit that Rabona cross. Drop the wings. Be a little more responsible. Lays has actually done some incredible work here because we have not seen this game out well at all. Lays has done some really incredible work. That was a really nice play by Leza. Dude's been here for like three days. Got across the face of their just tidal wave of players. Now they got keeper up. Good hold. Ah. Uh. That's long. Good. That was a very tough pass. I don't want us to get too content, but we have managed a third consecutive win to keep ourselves flying at the top of the league. We're chasing Comber. That was the night. That was the other team that got relegated. He scores on his debut. Jump man getting the job done. We can't change his number. So even if you guys were able to convince me, I thought 99 was awesome because it's the biggest number and he's the biggest guy. But. Wow. I kind of was okay with that transfer, actually. That's a shame they said no. I'm surprised they did. Well, you know, we live and learn. <laughs> it's proactive. Nailed it. Raptor, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Jake, thank you for the four months. And Lep Klanos was taken. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate you being a part of the Hammers. Thank you for supporting the stream. So where my points go? I voted for Knack to win. Oh, no. Controversy in the betting sphere. Said I misclicked and lost 23,000 points. Yeah, you uh you you lost them. They didn't end up in any of my private accounts. <laughs> didn't end up in any of my private accounts, I'll tell you that. Away to young AZ. Yeah, I want the real AZ. Come on now. I want the real AZ. You know how good our defense has been in our control of matches? Except the last three minutes of that last match. It's been fantastic. Do, 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 do. It'll be interesting to see how Camber will adapt. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. I mean, you change the way that you play when Jumpman's on the field, you know? You do. So 
So they're just going to be playing a different way. But no, it looked like they still won their last match. Oh, Jesse Don, finally. God, that guy had not been on a team for a year. I'm so glad that he finally ended up somewhere. So he's a fringe South African national team player. I don't know what standards he was upholding that he didn't end up on a team, but Universitea uh, uh, team in Romania signed him. I can't say their name. <laughs> Come a little closer, can't you see? I don't know why Chibia would know. Yeah, Michael Jordan's number is number 23. And he was called, sometimes he was called Jumpman. Uh, and, you know, the logo on the shoe is him jumping. He took off from the free throw line in the dunk contest. So that's what they were saying. Number 23 should be Idrikis's number. But, you know, 99's a good time. 99's a good time. It's a real statement piece to go with 99. Bagas opts to stay. Why, Ishan Bagas? Why have you opted to stay? I'm going to have to send you down to the reserves now. You're on the freaking loan list. Bagas, I got you a nice loan deal to go play in Slovakia and have a good time and develop. And you're like, no, Slovakia is scary. And I'm like, dude, it's not that far. It's right next to Czech Republic. And he's like, where's that on a map? And I'm like, where are you from, Texas? I said that with my mom, who's from Texas, right there, listening. Although she's wearing noise-canceling headphones. See? Noise-canceling headphones. A must when you are in the same room with Zeeland while he's streaming. <laughs> Apparently. Mom, do you know where the Czech Republic is? Yeah, we went there. Right? Yep. Yep. On that Maybe Texans aren't so bad after all, you know? Can I point it out on the map? She's not sure she can point it out on a she's not sure she can point it out on a map. Fair play. We did get the sale. Zico Burmeister, we did get the sale. No way, dude. Zico Burmeister, we got the sale. 1.2 million in the unbelievable transfer window we have had continues. Even after the transfer window, it's still going. We're still cooking. Come from YouTube, guess and knock replaced Orlando Pirates. Ah, uh, yes. A long, bro a long, interesting road that took us from uh, Orlando Pirates to knock Breda, a team that was just relegated from the era the Vizzi, but was giving us the resources to, to chase re-promotion, you know, to chase going back up. All right, those these guys that don't have any match sharpness are who we want to run here. And then you, and then Amari Bell. Is this the day after? Yeah, okay, Sonani. Not Joaquin Torres. He'll get plenty. Ibrahim and Bai. Th those guys are going to get plenty. Those guys. So Zico Burmies, uh, Burmeister does have a $1.2 million offer. Whether he wants to take it and move, we will see. But the offer is in. I'm kind of stunned that it's in, but it is in. And then we'll have the opportunity to go sign Lopez and life will be good. Abdullahi, physical beast. If you're in a lower league save, Suleiman Abdullahi might not be a bad pickup wherever you happen to be because that dude can fly. Um, Adakainak, how you doing? Okay, we're away against Young AZ and we are going to attempt to bully these youngsters with a vintage display of ballin'. So say Wellison and Jose Rodriguez are going to be active. They're going to be our midfield. Uh, Garib's back. Garib is back. Uh... 
I mean, Garib is taking over Providence's position, but Providence being the right-footed winger that we need. Selly. So Providence needs to be on the field is an issue I am running into. The Providence needs to be on the field. So for this match, because Selly doesn't have any match sharpness, we're just going to make that decision that it's Selly that's coming off, but we're not sure if that's what we want to do long term in terms of like the way that we rotate. Oh, Emil Hoyland. Oh, that's totally Rasmus's brother. Rasmus's brother's hanging out on Young AZ. What's up? I'm not marking you. Uh, let's go, Joaquin. Let's go, Joaquin Torres. Let's do this. Exact revenge. Oh, we lost them last time. Oh, cool. That's motivated guys that weren't even here because, like, my whole team wasn't here. Where Gambia? I we tried. We tried to get that Gambian in. But we were not able to get the Gambian player in. We tried. He's Hoyland from Wish. Wait, Jade Nadai? Are you kidding me? Taunton legend Jade Nadai is on the left wing. Can I dap him up and just be like, look, you have no idea what you mean to me for no reason at all. For every reason. You were a legend at Taunton Town. Oh, a little back heel from Jose Rodriguez. This wasn't even Ildrikis. This was... Who was that? Oh, that was Bayer. Just destroy... Oh, no. You know, football manager this year is a lot better. That was so uncom like incomprehensibly bad from the point that when this ball goes in the air, my players aren't tracking it, but his are. And then they have a three on O, but then Hartog's bobbing and weaving, and my guys are wind sprinting back, and then all of a sudden he has a contested shot that he misses. When did AZ sign Sterling? Violation. Wow. Nice, Aldrikas. Absolutely nobody getting anything on set pieces. Abdul Rahman Garib. Abdul Rahman Garib. He's got nobody to cross to, but he's still on a tear. Torres is there. Here goes Torres. Torres. Aldrikas. Corner. Very dangerous for us. I guess we are playing a reserve team. So the fact that we appear to be in a cement forest uh, is fitting, you know? Oh, Olivier Jam, the original star signing. He's been surrounded by star signings. Quite the effort there from Olivier. Abdulrahman Garib. Aldrikis! Oh. Shanked the header. But he was there. He's always there. It's got to be us. Thank you, Pereira. Thank you, Olivier. Well controlled. There goes the midfield. Torres hits the overlap. Nurio. Just float one in here to Ildrikas if you want. There it is. Missed him. But it falls to Roberts! Ildrikas! Jump man scores with his feet. Nurio does a great job of getting this off. Just missed Oldrikis. The clearance is deflected by Garib towards Oldrikis, and he's got his goal at Young AZ. 
Uldrikas is that dude. Better than Ilya, sadly. We would have loved to have had Il Ilya Sharon would have eaten this league for breakfast, but alas, that man is playing at Zenit now. Aldrikas didn't jump for that one. Well tracked by Abdul Rahman Garib. That was quite the bold pass, and then Jose just missed everybody. Hey, AFOs, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. And, oh, yep, that's uh, Abdul Rahman Garib's ball, actually. Thank you so much for the contribution. Oh, Torres. Dang it. Uldrikas! He just gets a free header on every corner. Garib's good enough to just put it in his area. He just gets a free header on, like, every corner. Bayer. Oh, where, where's Uldrikas, guys? Why are we not finding Uldrikas? Okay. Let, uh, that, is that Ernest Poku? This guy's, like, actually... Very good. Oh, really? Ref, my God. Game is all the way gone. We're babying these young stars like Ernest Poku. We're babying them. Oh, oh, oh Bezo. Bezo. Wow, we've dominated the game thus far. Ernest Poku with a moment of individual brilliance to draw himself a pin. Work hard. Make sure you get the win that you deserve. We've got talent off the bench if we need it. Jose Rodriguez and Say Wellison. We're not getting like a great performance out of our midfield right now. Our, our, our deeper midfielders. Rodriguez and Wellison, first time they're starting together. Come on. We know Ildrikas is there at the back post, Garib. We know where this is going. Oh, it's Ingles! Oh, it's Bjorn Ingles! Well, how has Bjorn Ingles managed to do that one? He's beaten even Aldrikas to the ball and scored. We bamboozled them. They all thought it was going to Aldrikas when I was secretly pointing. <laughs> one of those. Hey, aim it to Ingles. Uh, okay, all right, Bjorn Ingels, the German. Yeah, he redeemed himself. I don't really blame him too much for that pen. It's just like pretty soft call. Ernest Poku is also a really good player. And get him getting into that spot is not part of the game plan. Ooh, Olivier sends a man to the shops. Pereira, Pereira. It's Uldrikas! Oh. Nice ball by Pereira. We're going to try and get that a little bit more with a wing back on defend, a little bit more emphasis on the crossing part of the game. Nice play by Pereira. Abdul Rahman Garib. Abdul Rahman floating one to Uldrikas! This is so fun to watch, honestly. I've never had a striker with 20 jumping reach before. You just pop it up to him, and there he is. Always. Torres. Oh, classy. Rodriguez, Nurio. It's Torres. It's Torres. What was my idea behind the Regista? I, uh, I wanted a playmaker. Because I want Olivier and Chom to be running by our target man all the time. So the only spot for a playmaker was down here next to the ball winner. And we got a couple of like dictates tempo, smart guys like say Wellison and Jose Rodriguez. 
They can totally do it. Oh, goodness. That was a freaky ball. Sheer quality from Hoyland. Still waiting on that miracle, though. All right, we're going to go with Burmeister, and we're going to go with Evert. Not Evert Lindhorst. But I am going to get uh, Jose Rodriguez out and keep Sewellison in. Jonas Bayer for Leza. We've proven that that is a pretty solid sub to make. Uh, Rotundo's going to come in, and Sanani's going to come in. And Sanani is left-footed. He's going to take that winger roll. There you go. All right, here we go. We've had control of the match. We just want to keep it. We wanted to, you know, switch out some of the guys that hadn't been at their best so far in this game. All right, let's keep them pinned back there. That's not a bad spot for the highlight to start as long as we keep them from playing short passes through us, which is exactly what's happening. And, oh, uh, okay. All right. Slowed him down enough to get back. Wow, that guy hit that so poorly. That was, that was a terrible shot. Oh, I love you, Uldrikas. Oh, how I do love you. Uldrikas. Is he defending this? Oh, goodness. Doesn't exactly have the wiggle to be defending somebody out on the wing. Uh, that, that's okay, Pereira. That was an uncomfortable spot. Let's get our changes in. Some changes to help us waste some time here. First time catching the stream. What's up, Zipping? Welcome. Don Doggy, thank you so much for the Prime also. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. What year is this? Uh, it's our fourth season of this journeyman save that we're on. No way. Pereira, you beautiful man. A vital intervention on that loose touch. Why are we just a little shaky right towards the end of games? That's Aldrikas. Well, oh, he just pushed Aldrikas down. This is ridiculous. They know they can't win the header. They're just bowling into the back of Aldrikas. Go to Aldrikas. Hit the ball to Aldrikas. You, you've received specific instructions, Bezo. There it is. Way to waste as much time as possible. Now bomb it to Aldrikas. Or we don't even need to. Chindy, thank you for the tier one. Nice work, everybody. That was good stuff. Nice work. But Camber keeps winning too. Wow, we are we're trying to get ourselves to the top of the league, but how have I I've all I've done is win four straight matches and I've fallen out of third? Hellman Sport, chill. Chill. They just won five nil against Young Utrecht and got over me on goal difference. Are you I just won four straight matches and went down in the league. How does that happen? I mean, goal difference, clearly. And they're also winning four straight matches, clearly. Just not uh, just not very fun. It's a skill issue. Yeah. If only we could just win more matches. Like, we could win five matches and four matches played. All right, Alex Lopez is your agent. I don't know if Burmeister's going to leave, so we're going to wait to offer Alex Lopez a contract until we can confirm that Burmeister's done his deal for $1.2 million and decided that he's going to head out. Ooh, Telstar, what's up? You're our next opponent. Do, 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 do. All right. Mm. 
said Eric Ten Hag vibes don't lose games, but everything's on fire. Now, I think a big contributing factor is how bad they were in Europe. Like some of their worst losses where everybody's like, yeah, the club's falling apart. Those were European losses. So like they're standing in the Premier League is still kind of much to the like to great comedic effect, considering how much people are like, oh, Ten Hag and, and United and they're bad and all that and all this. They're still what? Six in the league. Because all their worst results were Copenhagen, Galatasaray. <laughs> yeah. The reverse Lampard. Exactly. Ribeiro just got a call up. Ricardo Ribeiro. I did not know that guy was in my U18s, but shout out. All right, Alex Lopez has agreed to come back on trial. He'll keep training with the boys as we wait to see whether we're going to sign him. If Burmeister decides that he wants to leave for $1.2 million, we will take that cash and we will sign Alex Lopez for free. As a United fan, I'm still Ten Hag in. I feel like I would be too. But I would be frustrated. I feel like Ten Hag was billed as this guy who's going to get his players and have his system. Well, he's gotten some of his players and his system's nowhere to be found. <laughs> right? Results-based, it's still fine. But you're also Manchester United. Until like four years ago, you'd never finished outside of the top three in the Premier League. So the, the standard has to be incredibly high. The amount of money spent is astronomical. And you have to get a return for that, you know? Can we see Ulrichs one more time? Why you just want to try to salivate some more? Oh, he doesn't like big matches. Eskison, that's why we do the scouting, you know? This guy's playing in Africa right now. Jean-Louis Diouf. Can we make a decision, uh, Burmeister? Burmeister? One decision. That's all we need. A decision. Keep an eye on Abdul Gibre. Actually, we're not going to keep an eye on him. He's never going to be good enough for me to want to sign him. As much as he is a free player who's not bad, never going to be good enough for me to want to sign him. Okay, so we're just still uh, we're still mulling this over, huh, Zico? We're just mulling this one over. We're like, hmm, do I want to go on this transfer? It's not like it's a life-changing decision or anything. Just make it and move on, man. This is easy. Just make the decision and move on. Also, tactically, we're not going to go crazy direct. We're going to go slightly shorter, but we're going to leave a little bit more directness available to stretch him with the speed on our wings and to obviously play off the big man. Closing in on an unbeaten run that would set a record. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me last year... We ended the season on an unbeaten run. Dude, how much did they get relegated by? They got relegated going unbeaten in their last five matches. Oh, one goal difference. Oh. YouTube frog here, but I just have to oh. say I watched Alia Hamada live. Play 10 games Unbeaten in the last five, but down by one goal difference, trying to pull their way back out. Wow. And then as a result of that one goal in the goal difference, they had to sell. We had to sell basically the entire team. They didn't want to be here anymore and rebuild the club from scratch. That is brutal. But five unbeaten in the season, including a win away to PSV. They just didn't score in their last two matches. If they'd scored a goal in one of their last two matches, we wouldn't be here. History would be completely different. But now we are. They also, they beat Almira City, the team that knocked them out down the stretch. They just scored four goals in their last five matches, even though they went unbeaten. So we're on an 11 match unbeaten run because we've gone six unbeaten to start the league season this year. Things are getting wild. Things are getting wild. We can't see. Oh, oops. I'm moving. Normally a professional streamer. On occasion, been known to be a professional streamer. But you guys could not see. There it is. They missed by one goal difference. I'm going to go up here, actually. 
Got the transition in the way, but oh, no, I'm just not here. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm not even here. I'm mysteriously absent. All right, then, Zealand, keep your secrets. Now I'm back. Now you can't see it anymore. What? Nathan, Joan. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a bear. Well, I found a whole bunch of guys. They're going to come through my uh, scouting center. I don't need to deal with them now. Yeah, I suppose it was two goal difference because they would have lost on goals four, but they were also, you know, factually one goal difference behind. Oh, wait, we're missing players. Three players called up, Abdurrahman, Garib, Daniel, uh, Danel Sinani, and Robert Soldriques have all been called up. So I, with the depth that we have, I will request a postponement of the two matches that would be run over by that international uh, duty. Please and thank you. And they've both been moved. That's very uh, nice. I appreciate the accommodation. All right, guys. Last stream of 2023. And boy, do we have an amazing deadline day and get everything done uh, that we could have possibly dreamed. We built a great team, and I think we're in for a great year with Knock Bray to try and win a trophy, try and do something special and put this club back where it deserves to be back in that top flight. We've got some superstars. We've got some fun players. I hope you guys have had a great year being a part of this community. I have. I love you guys. Wait, Fist bump. Wait, wait, what? What are you doing? All right. Uh, my mom just yelling at me. Um, I, I really appreciate it. And all the subs and all the support uh, for all of the various channels on which I happen to exist. Uh, it means the world. And we you know, always invest in getting an even better team so that we can do it even better. Oh, wow. That's what she was... You ever gotten a gifted, you ever gotten a hundred gifted subs from somebody standing right next to you? Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Happy New Year. She says, Happy New Year to everybody, if you didn't hear. And thank you, obviously, for the hundred gifted subs. I'm able to look at you and thank you. Uh, no New Year's wish? Dude, I'm already living the dream. We're just going to try and keep making it better. Make better videos, do better streams, have a better time, keep the vibes great. Yeah, that's my inheritance. Literally my allowance, like my adult allowance with that. Thank you for the uh, thank you. And if you got a gift, then be sure to say thank you. Tom Parkey, thank you so much for the prime. Rocket Marley, thank you for the 10 months. Mombot, you were awesome. And I hope you guys have a great new year. We're going to keep the vibes going. We are going to raid somebody. Of course, you knew we were going to do that. Uh, but the next stream will be the 8th of January. I'm gone next week. This is when we always take our family trip is over New Year's. It's when everybody can get off. Uh, so really looking forward to that. It's going to be great. YouTube videos as normal. They're all being worked on right now. Uh, but the next stream is the 8th, and it's a huge one. Happy New Year. And the next the, the next stream, we will be teaching Carl Jacobs, as in, you know, Minecraft and Mr. Beast Carl Jacobs, uh, how to play football manager. He wants to learn. Uh, and so we are going to be doing a football manager save with Carl Jacobs. We're also obviously still going to be playing the journeyman. So that's going to be... That's going to be what we're doing on the 8th. I hope you're able to make it. It's going to be super awesome. Uh, it is beyond crazy. I know. Uh, but he's an awesome guy, and he totally wants to learn how to play football manager, and we've already picked a team, and he's really pumped. So let's find somebody to raid. I'll see you guys on the 8th. It's going to be sick. That's what we're doing on the 8th. As you guys were watching right now, that's uh, you. Uh, how you found that out. I hadn't really told anybody. Let's raid Salt and Pep. This dude used to stream way back in the day. Still does obviously hop on from time to time, and he's a great guy. Let's bring let's bring the New Year's vibe to him. Let's get a good good copy pasta ready. Let's bring the the hammers vibe over to him. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support, and I'll keep trying to make it worth your while <laughs> in the new year. Here's to have a couple of more uh, hidden grounds episodes in the new year too, like the Faroe Islands video. All right, love you guys. See ya. Happy New Year.
<laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, guys, word of the day is glower. Nope. Oh, can I get the. Is it not working? I think it's playing. I just can't hear it. Be weird. It says playing. I can't hear it anyways. G L O W E R Glower. To glower is to look or stare with sullen annoyance or anger. Kelly glowered at me after I sided with Brenda in their dispute about the chores. Well, why did you just why did you side with Brenda? I don't know. All right, I'll see you at the end of another stream for another word of the day. Happy New Year, everybody.